I suppose I could have checked if they added title screen music to Apollo Justice on the 3DS, but that's Pandora's box. Y YouTube interprets that as you want to know everything. You want to right. know everything. You want yeah. you want to know everything. Title screen. You want to know everything. So I'm not doing that, and instead we use this. But hey, guys, how's it going? Going all right. Wait, hold on, let me put on live chat instead of uh, dead chat. D dead top <laughs> chat. No swearing allowed. No swearing allowed in my YouTube top chat. Uh, you can't be top. If you swear. I should have like a setting that's like allow profanity. It's just yes. Yes! I'm the most profane. Just... just oh like God. Yorm. <laughs> just like him. I don't want to be like Yorm. I only want to be like <laughs> Yorm if every time I attack I get smaller and faster. <laughs> Which is what we're doing with Apollo here. Right, so oh, Apollo's yes, gotta yes. be like the fast attorney, yeah? This is the dex attorney, no? Yeah, yeah, because Phoenix is definitely the strength guy. He's definitely the strength uh, guy. Uh, though Phoenix is more like the quality build. Uh, then you got Gumshoe, who's like, you know, it's all strength. Sure, I know sure. he's not an attorney, but it's, it's related. It's related. Maya's the mage. Uh, and Emma's dumb as bricks. And, and, and Edgeworth's Edgeworth Edgeworth also cheat. Dex, but he's so he, big. Oh, oh yeah, but he, he's the, he's definitely the Chicago user. Well, all right, what weapon would each of them use in Monster Hunter? Let's start there. Okay. Uh... Hmm. So Phoenix is probably just using a great sword because he's the main character. Like he's the most sure. main character, right? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Or a sword and shield. I guess Edgeworth's using the katana and Apollo's using the dual swords. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That sounds yeah. right. Franziska just has a whip. Somehow. <laughs> she, she just gets one. Uh, Gumshoe using the hunting horn? With Gumshoe a hammer? using the hunting horn. No, that would be Larry. Sure. Because yeah, sure. that's the artist weapon, I guess. But wait, no, the glaive had the paintbrush. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. Uh. What's good, though? Uh. Light, light bow gun? Light, or heavy light bow gun? gun? Well, we know he can wield a sword. This is true. We know he can wield a sword. No I, I'm only saying this out of the note, out of the notion that he's shooting lasers out of his eyes. Yeah, he does have lasers. I'm sure. <laughs> you know what? We probably don't even need to have this discussion, considering th there's probably just a crossover of this somewhere that just answers our questions. True. Very likely. True. All right. So, last time, a lot happened. I mean, like a eh. lot happened. It really, it, it really set the stage for a lot more to happen. But since this is Phoenix Wright, we won't see that until the final case. Maybe. I'd like there to be some uh, a through line between all the cases. Uh, rather than it being like... Well, like the, se one. the second cases in 1 and 2 were pretty heavy. And I imagine this case is going to have a lot of setup. Because this is going to be the case that's really going to introduce the characters. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so the conclusion for case one is that uh, Gavin was arrested. Christoph Gavin. Gavin's Christoph his last Gavin. name. You're right, you're right. And uh, and Phoenix is like, you done good, kid. Now let's go save the world. Here's my business card. And then Apollo punches Phoenix. And Phoenix loves it. And he chuckles. <laughs> chuckles. <laughs> that weak shit ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> weak shit's not... Are you gonna save my daughter with that? How can you protect anyone, Apollo? <laughs> uh, and then it, Apollo was then sent to the law offices, yeah. Yep. And that's where that's we're at. We started the second case, yeah. But 
yeah, the the big mystery that was set up is that Phoenix had a legend had apparently forged evidence seven years prior, and that's why he's no longer an attorney, and that he even forged evidence in this case because the big mystery was we're handed a bloody ace by uh, Phoenix's daughter right before the final act of the the first case, the first trial. And it's kind of just brought up immediately, and it's just ran with, and then afterwards it's like, okay, where did you get the card? Where did you get the card? And they don't explain it. So, that's our main mystery hook currently, is what the fuck is going on with Phoenix, and... Wh what the fuck's going on with Phoenix? Period. That's it. Why what? did Gavin try to kill a man? Uh, Why did Gavin kill a man? Kill a man? Uh... Yeah. Let's get to it. And, and, and of course, why did the man have a, have a necklace of Phoenix's daughter? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was uh, that was definitely the big one. Load. Yeah, turnabout corner, day one investigation. I should have been reading that. Dog, juicy, guy, burger bowl. Burger bowl? Ah, uh, look at this burger stand. Spinning big crimes and little crimes together. So heavy, bring this grill with me. When the wheel stops. <laughs> it looks so bad. You die. Dark Souls like, it, it looks like it was shot out of the handle of the burger stand. Alright, June 15th, 9-12 a.m. Wright & Co. Law Offices. Two months have passed since Mr. Gavin's arrest. My first trial. I lost both my mentor and my job. Yeah, I'll admit it. I was fucked. But even when I hit bottom, I told myself I'd never come here. Honest. I never- I didn't notice the death guillotine. The hand guillotine. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Oh, jeez. You're being the legendary Wright & Co. Law Offices. Okay, Justice. Time to stop trembling. Ah, you must be here for the interview. Right this way. Huh? Interview. Hello there! You found the right place! The right place. Did Phoenix ever make puns with his name? Probably. I think a couple came up. A couple At least one. Up. At least one or two. <laughs> uh... Uh... What's with this girl? Oh, she's cute. Well now, shall we begin? Begin... What? Right. First things first. Any special talents? Mmm. Talents? Have the Sharing gone. <laughs> yes, well, you must have at least one. Well, uh, I guess. Defending? Defending? An unusual talent, but it'll do. With a little, ja with a little jazzing up, of course. Y you think so? Let's give it a go, shall we? <laughs> Do it again. Yeah. Huh? Go ahead, show me. Defend. Just give it all you've got. Don't hold back now. She's about to punch She's you. She's gonna just start attacking. What are you talking about? I can't just defend here. But you're in the corner, Apollo. For first lesson. A professional can perform anywhere. Thanks. <laughs> We want people to be laughing with us. Not at us! Thanks. But I'm not sure why they should be laughing at all. What?! What exactly do you think you came here to do? What? Um... Defend, no? Do you not... Are you stupid also? Wait, did you already forget who I am and... You... I was there at the courthouse where you gave me the fake card. 
You incriminated me. <laughs> what did you? Uh, you already forgot? Excuse me, but do you know where you are? Huh? The Ryan Cole offices, right? Oh. I was afraid of that. Don't worry. You're not the first. Look, what's going on here? Who are you? I came here to meet with the person in charge. Well, you've apparently made no fewer than two mistakes. <laughs> mistakes? But I got a call from Mr. Wright this morning. Perhaps you should go read the sign out front again. It's there to read. Look, it says right there. Oh. Why does it say right talent agency? Welcome to the right talent agency. We've always, where you've always come to the right place. I'm Trucy Wright, CEO. I'm a magician. No shit. It all came flooding back. The trial, that girl. Hello, sir. Please pick a card. That's right. She's my daughter. Trucy... Right. Here, check out our flyer. So, what's your name? Apollo. Apollo Justice. Attorney at law. Charlie! Charlie! Ah, don't touch Mr. Charlie! Charlie. Mr. Charlie? He's been in this office much longer than I have. Daddy's mentor had a great fondness of Mr. Charlie. He's lived here since Daddy was a rookie attorney. Huh. Mr. Charlie. Right. Yeah, Mr. Charlie Wright. That's... That's correct. That's right. That's right, that's right. That's right, that's right, that's right. Now I take care of him. Guillotine. There are all sorts of strange paraphernalia sitting on top of the piano. Those are my magic props. Practice, practice, practice. A professional never leaves their weapons far from reach. I hope Ron shows up. But you can't play the piano with all this junk on it. Oh, no one plays here anyway. And the neighbors complain. Wait, who is Ron? favorite character? Ma mask the Mask! Oh, Mask the Mask, right, right. I was thinking of, like, oh, it wasn't Powers or whatever. Oh, uh, I, yeah. That'd be cool if he showed up, too, but... Those are it. Those are the only two. Yeah. No, no <laughs> other side characters. I guess Mr. Wright really can't play. We get... We get... Oh, I, I guess I can't double click. Reference. That table doesn't look very sturdy. You've never seen one of these? It's a magic table. So, like, you make this teapot disappear? So you might think that that's not it. Before your very eyes, the contents of the pot change. From Earl Grey to Dar Darjeeling? I could have said it if I wasn't looking at the world. <laughs> at the world? the world? I meant to say, I meant to say word. You've got the your world. eyes where it needs to be, Tommy. <laughs> Focused. <laughs> that, that's where we're headed. We're, we're fixing the world in this game, so... Kind of hard to see the difference, I think. I think it's just the drawing, too. A strange split box leers at me from the wall. Um, is this one of those boxes for cutting people in half? That's right! This cabinet is used for an illusion called the zigzag. I've seen one on TV when I watched Yu-Gi-Oh! But why is one just sitting here in your office? Oh, it's a little big for me, you see. So I'm using it for as furniture. Hats in the top, shirts in the middle, and pants down below. Alright. I think it's a nice touch, don't you? It's not exactly what I'd call a welcoming decor. 
All these legal books must be Mr. Wright's leftovers. There's a lot of unrelated books in here, too. One trick a day? Magic for idiots? You'd think a pro magician would aim a bit higher. You know, I say run to life, but there was actually a magician uh, that we defended. And it just so happens there was another magician like guy in three. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Max Galaxy? That's the, that was the magician? Maximilian right? Galactica, I think. Maximilian Galactica, yeah. yeah. Max Galaxy. <laughs> Max Galaxy. The most. Close. An old sepia tinted photo of a man in a silk top hat. That's my favorite magician. I want to be just like him someday. Sure, nice. Guess it's good to have a role model, even if he's got to be well over 100. How rude! Fuck! These damn mind readers! Oh, she's pouting. <laughs> got a little pout going on. How rude. Get. Whoa! That fork is floating. Not. Not. <laughs> Not. Why do you have a plate of plastic spaghetti here? For dinner, idiot. That right there is the whole reason I became a magician. Wow. <laughs> do <laughs> tell. <laughs> I saw a plate just like that in a restaurant once. The floating fork looks so real. That's when I knew, someday, I'd make magic more amazing than spaghetti, than that spaghetti. Eh, I like what I said the first time. Trophy? No. Charlie T. Is that the couch I can examine there? Okay, no, that's just Charlie. Is this also the spaghetti? No, hula hoops. That's one of those hula hoops things everyone was crazy about way back when. Really? I had no idea these were that popular. I'm not so bad with one myself, actually. Mm. He's like, really? Can you show me? Preferably with your shirt off. I'm still learning. So you can really make someone levitate with it? Show me. Oh. Huh? I, I have no idea how. It's just a normal hula hoop, isn't it? Oh, I gotta show her the badge. Of course. 15 gender female, future stage magician in training. Apparently the daughter of Phoenix Wright. And it's to can't play a lick. Formerly an ace defense attorney of some renown. Check this shit out. Uh. Oh, I've seen one of those before. That's an attorney's badge. It looks just like the one daddy used to have. Now if I take this badge and do this and this, see, it's gone. Give it back, give it back. Hey, hey, what'd you do? What'd you do? No need to worry. Just look in your pocket. Huh, oh, no way. Wait a second. There's something in there. It's a flyer for your agency! <laughs> and here's your badge. You can have it back now. That's the last time I let her touch anything of mine. Period. Yeah, huh? Uh, Oh god, I didn't mean to- I, I- I wanted to see if there was like a list of options, I didn't want to just leave. What's up with this right talent agency? Guess I'll talk to her and find out what I can. Okay, okay. Have we got an age on Nepal yet? Is he like 18? He's like 22? I don't know how old he is. How old was Phoenix when it started? I think Phoenix was like 22. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna guess he's about he, that age. He would have been like out of college and just getting started. Cause then he's like 23, 24, 25 over the course of the next couple of games, something like that, right? Yeah. So, is this really a talent agency? You bet. Daddy started it seven years ago when he quit law. Of course, we only have two people signed up right now. 
few people. Does that include you? Trucy Wright, magician extraordinaire. I've done a lot of stage shows. Paid too. I am a professional, you know. Uh, right. Promise you'll come to one of my shows, okay? Let's see. Oh, and the other person our agency represents is Phoenix Wright, pianist extraordinaire. Your dad, in other words. Didn't he say he couldn't play the piano? Our agency doesn't see that as a problem. Why, there are many magicians who can't do magic. At least you're optimistic, I'll give you that. Oh, thank God it tells me what I've clicked on. Hmm. Alright. I've waited long enough to ask. Where's Maya? She's training. What did you woods. what did you do with Maya? Made her disappear. Where's your mother? <laughs> Trucy, where's your mother? Where is she? So you're his You're Phoenix Wright's daughter? That's right! After Daddy quit law seven years ago, I promised I would keep him fed. That's not a good daughter. For the bomb, I guess. Some kind of a sugar daddy, get it? Uh huh. No. No. I'm in charge of this whole office too. Pretty amazing for a young lass of 15, wouldn't you agree? F 15? Uh, how old is Mr. Wright? Daddy? Oh, uh, he's 33 this year. Wait a minute, that o'clock, that timeline. <laughs> it's. Certainly possible, but obviously we, uh, we know what's up. We know better. I'm, I'm sure there's a good explanation. I hope. Yeah, Apollo. Phoenix Wright fucks. You don't, you don't remember Phoenix rocking around with the six-year-old girl in the original trilogy? Yeah. Actually, I do remember this. I actually do remember this. <laughs> um, <laughs> listen, listen, it was during his experimental straight phase. Now he's got a daughter. Hmm? Um, about Mr. Wright giving up law. It was because of that incident seven years ago, wasn't it? Eh? You know about that? Not the details. I remember the news, though. It was a big deal. So I hear. I was too young to understand what was going on. I'll ask Daddy about it next time I get the, get a chance. Daddy. Right. That reminds me. About Mr. Wright. He gave me a call this morning to come in. Daddy's not here right now. He's in the hospital. Again. What the fuck? Jump into another river. The hospital? <laughs> yeah. He's on strict bed rest until he gets better. He used too much power at that trial. Like, he opened a couple of gates. He needs some rest after that. What? what? <laughs> okay. Which hospital is Mr. Wright in? I'll pay him a visit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No. I don't want to see the weird doctor again. No. Oh, God. No! Oh, God. Oh, the Hickfield Clinic. It's quite close. That right, wasn't well it? I don't remember. <laughs> right, well, I'll be going was. now, and I'll, uh, give the showbiz gig some thought, okay? Wait, I'll go with you. All right. Is he reading manga? Is he a gamer? Yeah, or does he CDs? Maybe he's, maybe the movies? Hmm. Yeah, it's grape juice. And a little baby piano. Where do you see that? Look at the bottom under the Hickfield Clinic. It's oh, like a little God. pink yeah, piano, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is Mr. Wright's hospital? Uh, oh, my get out of here. Uh, get him off the screen. Is he wearing uh, a shirt? Why? I don't want him. Now I gotta do the voice. Fuck. I'm gonna pull my nose. Or don't, it might help. Uh, I need to be able to breathe. I can try and do it if you want. So 
Arya. Like, eh, yeah. Visitors Arya. Yeah, like visitors Arya. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here, hold on. My internet's being awful. It probably doesn't show up that bad here, thankfully, but I am... My my connection actually is stuttering. Um, em Emma's eating all the bandwidth. Yeah, I don't know what's up. Like, I swear to God, it's good some days and other days it's not. Um, here, give me one sec, guys. I'm, I'm gonna restart the stream in just a second. I'll be right back. Let it reconnect. Did you restart your modem? Your router? No, I didn't restart it. It would take too long. Okay. I, I was just curious. Yeah, like, it would take too long. That'd be weird because you were disconnected. <laughs> yeah, like, no, that, that would take way too long. All right, we back. If, it, if this still has, like, horrible packet loss and drop frames, I don't know. But. It seems to be good as far as I can tell. It just has hiccups. Like, it's been perfectly fine for the last couple of... Like, it was fine last time. So it's like, why is it bad this time? I, I've, I need to stop being a lazy motherfucker and actually call my ISP and be like, Hey, uh, can you check if the squirrels ate the wires? Because that just happens. And, and it's half the time it's the VPN too, being shitty. I got ripped off. Alright, whatever. All right, but is this guy naked under this lab coat? No, no, he's got the... You, you can see his little collar. <laughs> it might just be his... Well, that, those are, that's the, um... Oh, you know, that is the collar. Yeah, it's the collar. And he's got the, uh, he's got the old man attire that the Japanese wear. Yeah. Yeah, visitors, are ya? Hmm. Uh, yeah, are you the... Doctor? Oh, uh, yeah. Dr. Hickfield's the name. <laughs> Good morning, Doctor. Oh, ho, ho, ho. hi there, Drewsy. Hi. You just happened. What the fuck? I'm gonna grab that hat. Is this daddy? How, how did the American censors not <laughs> just delete this character? Yeah, I know, right? Oh, yeah. Deputy's gone for a morning checkup. Be back soon. Are you, Miss Trucy? Got any place that you like uh, examine? <laughs> Doctor, I'll kill you. <laughs> Doctor, the nurse is looking for you. Why, if it isn't the daddy o, the cutest little thing ever. <clears throat> Guess I'll be off then. Later, Trucy. God. Call Franziska. What an odd bird that guy was. What a yep, weirdo. That's how, that's how I would describe it. Just kind of an odd guy. The fucking weirdo man. Morning. Didn't expect you so soon, Apollo. M Mr. Wright. It's been two months. The soundtrack is fucking bumping. Very good. Yeah, Apollo being 22 makes sense, but it's just like he... It's almost presented that he's, like, younger, you know? Um, yeah, because he can't be the just, same height and build as the, the previous main character. He has to be... He has right. to be, uh... Emasculated. <laughs> Dwarfed by him. Piano. Ah, Daddy! You snuck some grape juice in again! That's not what I wanted to look at. The doctor said you weren't supposed to drink that here. Brucey, look at the label! Oh! Deep sea mineral water. That's fine, I guess. Switch the labels. Don't tell Trucy, okay? <laughs> what can I say? He's just a criminal now. The man loves his grape juice, and it makes him so much hotter. He's a bad boy. It's just like, I could fix him. A swaying, spiraling stack of DVD cases. Steel Samurai. The Nickel Samurai. Oh, no. Pink Princess. The Zappy Samurai Electric Bugaboo. That's funny. They're all children's action hero shows. This kid I know keeps sending them to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this 30-year-old woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh? Like, a niece or nephew? 
Something like that. Damn it. Quite the collection. This kid's parents must be really generous with their allowance. Funny. Mr. Wright doesn't seem the type that kids would like. Wrong, Apollo. Wrong. <laughs> Everyone loves this guy. Was a likable man in existence. Crime was the secret ingredient, though. Same stuff. TV. What's that on TV? Looks like some sort of action hero show. Oh, I know that one. That's the Sniffling Samurai. His booger flick attack is the big is a big hit with the grade school crowd. I had no idea you like this kind of stuff, Mr. Wright. What else is there to do when you're stuck in bed? Besides, the episodes will just keep piling up if I don't keep up, you know. Um, yeah. Why not buying them? Now's the only time I get to watch and write up my reports. Your reports? It's a long story. Like, a lot of things, actually. You know, I guess that's true. He was writing a report the last time we saw him in the hospital. <laughs> or he's reading reports, actually. Uh. Yeah. He was shitposting. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, I thought someone was saying last night, or last time, uh, he's actually drinking grape juice because that's what the creator likes to drink. Not that, that it's not actually, like, censored wine. Uh, right, but it still might be the joke that it is wine, and that's why they're talking sure, about it like sure. that. Mr. Wright's bed. It's really messy. Look how messy this is! You're just hopeless without me, aren't you, Daddy? Yikes! She's attempting to clean up. Look out. <laughs> you got me. What can I say? I was raised in a barn. Try not to let word get out, Apollo, if you don't mind. What is this? Yeah, it might ruin your illustrious career pretending to play the piano. Okay. Go check this shit out. See how you like it when someone does it to you, motherfucker! <laughs> What's that? Looks strangely familiar. How could you not recognize an attorney's badge? It's been seven years. I've forgotten a lot of things. I guess some, I guess some seven years are longer than others. Phoenix is elated right now. What happened? So what happened? Who could have imagined it? Me. Victim of a hit and run. Is the car okay? Is the car okay? Yeah. Yeah. A, a hit and... You were hit by a car? Oh, he tried to swerve. I'll give him that. But I jumped back in the way. Picture me. Tossed 30 feet through the air. Funnily, this happened to fake, fake Phoenix, Oh right? my <laughs> god! Only stopping when my head hit that telephone pole! Uh, uh, you hit a telephone pole with your head? Are you okay? Thankfully, my only injury was a sprained ankle. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> he really is as lucky as they say. You mean indestructible? No wonder he's in a fighting game. There's something that, well, it just doesn't sit right. I just can't believe you have a daughter, Mr. Wright. Paul is just upset that he's a virgin at 22. And she's so big, not fat, but you, you know what I mean? Oh, Trucy's still big. a child. <gasps> Daddy, how many times do I have to remind you? Not a child anymore. <laughs> uh, but you'll always be Daddy's little baby girl to me, Trucy. <laughs> my foot. I'm not buying it. My foot? My foot. Oh, oh, I see. I, 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 my foot. Got to get it. Oh, something you should know about Trucy. 
She's a magician, right? She told me. Not a mere sage magician. She's a genius. <laughs> Aw, daddy. You'll soon come to appreciate her talent. Are you amassing, like, young prodigies, Phoenix? You could just tell me things instead of insinuating them. No. It's more fun this way. So why'd you contact me? What could the right talent agency possibly want with me? No need to get prickly now. Hey, I didn't ask to be dragged in like this. Huh? But didn't you come into the office of your own free will anyway? Oh, yeah, of course. Help! We're in big trouble here at the office. Big! I thought someone was dying. <laughs> I feel he's like, <laughs> yeah. 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 So you don't think this is big trouble? A talent agency represents only two people. One of them is in the hospital. That's right, Daddy. How are we gonna pay this month's rent? And the groceries. They're still so fucking poor. Yeah, that's the problem with such a tight operation. It's a symbiotic relationship. When one of us falls, the other two must fall. Hey, this isn't exactly a suitable conversation to be having with a 15-year-old kid. In any case, if Apollo here can't help you, you'll have to transfer to a new school. Again. No, I can't. I only just made friends. How can you do this to us? To me. Polly. 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 DL6. Whose memory is her? <laughs> what? Now it's my oh. fault you're poor? Uh Apollo's Polly, got it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I thought she was about to whip out a bird. I'm gonna call. Him. On that note, how that. about you come work for us? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I've got the perfect client for you already lined up. A, a client? You mean I get to do my job? I get to defend in court? All right. I'll hear what you have to say. You got him, Daddy. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> Now it's time to reel him in. It's official. I'm scared. All right, so who's the client? Ah, uh, yes. Here, take a look at the map and I'll explain. Last night, I left the office just before nine o'clock. Well, this is nice. Okay. Last night, I left the office just before 9 o'clock. I was going to that... Indochine... Indochine pasta joint. Al Dente's. Again, this is a ramen shop. <laughs> yeah. I played piano there, of course. That's when it happened. Unfazed, unbothered. He's, he's just like, what? What's coming? <laughs> God, this poor car. The car sent me flying. Make the telephone pole. Zoomed away. Creepy, Th that's huh? what he calls it when he destroys something. He nicked it. <laughs> yeah, nicked it, exactly. <laughs> Just a tad. It's almost as creepy as hearing you tell the story like it was no big deal. The car sped off in this direction. So, good luck! Huh? You want a client, didn't you? Well, I'm your client! I get hit by a car! <laughs> uh, alright. Find the guy who knocked me into that telephone pole. Well, hold on, I'm a defense attorney, not a detective. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know anything, kid.
Don't worry, once you found the guy, I intend to sue him. Finally, not murder. Then you can stick it to him in court. I'm not but a prosecutor either. We already know it's murder. <laughs> we don't know it's murder yet. Burger guy got shot. Sorry, but this is crazy. I'm going home. Don't get so worked up. It was just a joke. Huh? Oh, daddy. Sorry, Apollo. He just loves jokes, you know. Even the ones that aren't very funny. Especially the ones that aren't very funny. Your real client should be stopping by the office any time now. The office? You mean the talent agency? No harm in going. It's not like I have anything else to do. One more thing. You'll look into my accident too, would you? I marked the scene of the tragedy on this map. Tragedy. That poor telephone pole. <laughs> right in front of this park. Should be easy to find. So he's going to make me investigate this after all. Map added to the court record. Uh, I wanted the court record, actually. Does the area around Mr. Wright's office touch the check button for details? The people park! People park. It's the people park. Oh. Wow. The dog park. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yet they're still on leashes there for some reason. Huh. L.A. sure is weird. <laughs> L.A. sure is weird. Who could it I, be? I freeze every time. I freeze every be? time. Are you planning on making me wait, eh? Ah, good morning. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. It's Min Min's dad. It, it that is Min Min's dad. Um, hamburger. <laughs> Hey there, Trucy doll. Sounds like your pops had a bit of a rough spot, eh? All's well that ends well, I guess. This is our client. Hey, so this is the Polo fellow, eh? Oh, uh, yes, the name's Apollo. Look, I'm here. Look at him there, arms all crossed, like, ready to fight. Look at him there, arms all, okay. Yes, sir! You don't mean literally, do you? The boss told you what I need, right? Don't let me down now, Paulo. Don't worry about your defense, sir. I'm on it. Defense. Your noodle half-cooked. It's too late for defense. My castle's been stormed. My keep's been kept. My noodle stand's been stolen. N noodle? Eldoon? You know Mr. Eldoon from the noodle stand, don't you, Polly? No nicknames, please. And no, of course I don't know him. You new in these parts? Not really. Then you know the best noodles in town. L. Dunes Noodles. Oh, okay, okay, I see what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah okay, I'm stupid. Noodle Noodles L. Dunes. L. Dunes. Uh, whose noodles? Never. <laughs> My noodles. Eh, help me out here, Trucy doll. This is this is Mr. Guy L. Dune, our client. Maybe you can tell us what the problem is, Mr. L. Dune. It's a harmonica. All right? Anything for you, Trucy doll? All right. Who's this guy? So, you run a noodle stand, Mr. Aldoon. Guy Aldoon's the name, and noodles are my game. The secret's in the soup. I've been searching for the perfect soup for a year and a half. Oh, that's not that long, really. My family's been noodle men for generations. Got a lot of expectations on my shoulders. 
15 fathers passing the noodle to 15 sons. That's quite the poly tool. That's a pretty old noodle. I fool that I was, I pushed it away. I rebelled against my pops and picked another livelihood. That didn't turn out so well. Oh. There was no denying it. Salty broth runs through these veins, boy. So it was like destiny that you became what you are. Right, destiny's the word. Oh, I fought it. Me too. But in the end, I was bound by the twisted noodle of fate. Not a mental image I care to linger on. The last year I started my noodle stand. The 15th generation of Eldoon's noodles. Uh, so tell me more about Eldoon's noodles. You don't know the genius that are my noodles? I make them so salty while they're saltier than salt. Now I really don't want to find out. Daddy's a regular at his noodle stand. That's why he's dying. <laughs> he frequented my pops to stand back during his attorney days, too. I thought he went to get hamburgers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? They should have just said it was hamburgers and just ignored everything else. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a bowl on his head. Don't worry about it. Yeah, whatever. It's the burger bowl hat. And that's the cheese in his hair. It's the cheese in his hair, exactly. Exactly. Yep, him and his assistant. I'm sorry, I'll be sure to drop by your stand soon. Wish you could, Sonny! Eh? Heck, I wish I could. I'd give anything for a bulb out now. What do you mean? It was stolen! My stand! Gone! What, White Snake? <laughs> White Snake showed up. I mean, you need to find this guy. Stolen? Stolen stand. It was last night. I was doing my rounds. Blowing my whistle. It's like an ice cream truck's bell, but louder. He even gets complaints. That's clever, <laughs> actually. Now you're just trying to butter me up. It sounded more like the blues than a whistle. I closed up my stand for the night and parked by the house. Then this morning, dark and early, it was gone! My keep, my castle, oh! Maybe, maybe some bum carted it off? Just guessing here. Well, I don't care who did it. Without my stand, I'm finished! All my noodle bowls were in there too. That's the saddest thing I've heard all day. You know it. Anyhow, that's the deal. Good luck. G good, huh? Wait. What exactly is your request? My noodle stand. Find it. And the day you bring my baby back is the day you feast uh, you're on as many noodles as you want. Of course, I make it so hot and salty, two bowls kill a man. Then I'd really need defense. Speaking of defense, that's what I do. I'm a lawyer, not a detective. This is where I live. You drop by if you need any info, okay? Get it back today if you can, Paulo. I got noodles to make. Nudes to send. Anyway, see ya. Things have certainly taken a turn for the bizarre. Traffic accidents, and noodle stand thieves. Um, actually, there was something I wanted to ask you about too, Apollo. Huh? I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, listen to the lady's problem now, don't be cruel. I lost something last night. That is, something was stolen. Hey, what's this? More thieving and skullduggery? Well, um... Anyone got Larry's phone number? <laughs> I was gonna say it was the doctor. Might have been the doctor. Someone stole a pair of my panties. Panties? 
<laughs> it's fucking. Ah! Uh... He's eating his hair. Uh, so they were um stolen. Your uh, my panties. Yes. Ah, haha, <laughs> right. Panties. That's a crying shame. That is Trucy doll. I was alone in the office last night. I had hung my panties out the window there to dry. Then a thief came and took them. My favorite panties. I ran after him. Give those back, I shouted. Wait! Well, that was certainly brave of you. But I lost him. Got those panties. I don't know what I'll do. A darn crying shame, yep. Well, at least the scene of the crime is convenient. This case sucks already. I got 50 things I gotta do. Is this an open world game? He's <laughs> making it sound like it. <laughs> I'll mark it on your map. I'll be heading home now. Remember, find my stand and there are an empty ball in your future, Bob. See you. Okay. You help out Trucy doll here too, you hear? Wait. Oh, that's so unsettling. That is unsettling. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I really don't want to look Okay, at but that. what alright, but what if like it's part of the hat and not his hair? It's so gross. It's pretty gross. Alright, get out of here. Stop slurping. Things have certainly picked up, haven't they? We had no work yesterday, and now we have three cases! I... I, I guess. guess. <laughs> thanks. Let's see where we stand. Or don't stand. Not in a courtroom, that's where. Well, the first item on our list... Phoenix Wright. Daddy's hit and run incident. Accident. We have to find the one who hit him. He's gonna pay us for this again? And the second item... Mr. Noodles L. Dune's request to find his stolen stand. For which we stand to gain a bowl of salty noodles. Now, do you the last think request the, uh, is mine. Do you think the hotel is the building north of the office or west of the office? I'm gonna guess it's the one closer to the park. To the north. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say west. You're gonna say west? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably like this big, the big square building here. Unless, sure, sure. oh, you know what? It might just be this building right here in the oh, block. You know what? The one directly south of it in the same block. And then it makes more sense. Yeah, that's way <laughs> closer. So go with that. And the last request is mine to find my stolen panties. The bowl of noodles is looking better and better. The streets. Aren't you enthusiastic? How could I not be? Let's crack these cases. You and me. <sighs> Guess we might as well get started. Let's see. A hit and run, a stolen stand, and last but not least, stolen panties. All right. A suspicious looking fellow, though he apparently is Mr. Wright's physician. Proprietor of the noodle stand, Eldoon's Noodles. Once stolen, stand found. It's funny every time. Alright. Oh. Not back in the hospital. Huh? Mr. Wright's gone. Maybe he's gone for an examination. He'll probably be back soon. Let's wait. I think it might take some time. Daddy always loves his examinations. Yeah. Don't ask, Justice. You don't want to know. Why don't we come back later? Yeah. His cross-examinations. Right. <laughs> Changed. Okay.
Hmm. This is where Mr. Wright got hit by that car. According to the map, this is the place. A huge mansion. It's like Chinatown. Apollo, there's a nice looking lady over there. Let's question her. Um, okay. I'm a little curious about the park over there too. What is happening at that fence? Someone's trying to hop it in a cop is stopping that person. There sure is. Whoa. Excuse me, um, can we have a few words with you? She's a thumb. She's a thumb woman. Hey, <laughs> You yes. want something? Whoa! <laughs> that husky voice, why am I suddenly sweating? It's quite a house you've got there. You must have a lot of money. Ugh, money sounds like something my son would call his friends. What? This is the Kataki family mansion, little girl. Uh... You! Kid with the hair, you want something? Uh, m m me No, not a thing. Bye! Hello? We can't leave without questioning her. What if she knows something? But, but the Kataki family... They're the biggest organized crime syndicate in town! Oh! If you're gonna ask something, ask it. If you're man enough. Woohoo! Right! Yay! Way to whip him into shape, ma'am! Does she know no fear? I'm Plum. Plum Kitaki. Wife of the fourth head of the Kitaki family business. Oh, it's just. Alright. Friends call me Little Plum. I, I, I'm L Little Apollo Justice, attorney at law. <laughs> if looks could kill, this woman would be a mass murderer by now. It's a relatively normal looking person. That's a human being. Very impressive. Sometimes it's the least surreal that becomes the most surreal in these games. Who's that? She's looking at the park. She's pretty. I bet she has a story. You know? There is something about her. Too bad she seems to be in a bit of a rush. That's cool that we got the... I wonder if every scene's gonna have a, a panning shot like this. Sure, sure, sure. You can have two people in one crime scene with that to uh, talk to. Splashed all over this gate. What a mess. Was this paint knocked over by the car that hit my daddy? That's right. <sighs> and I'm left to clean up the mess. You have a broom? You find whoever yeah, did this, bring the scound scoundrel by, would ya? Yeah, it's a broom story. <laughs> We're cleaning up paint. Yeah, it's all dry now. So you just scrape it up. You just scrape it up with the sword. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, then you can make them clean up their own mess. <laughs> You're cute. Naive, but cute. When I find whoever did this, you can bet I'll be doing some cleaning. There's nothing I dislike so much as a mess. Ooh, I wish I could say cool things like that. I'll bet you do. <laughs> I'd laugh if my teeth weren't chattering so hard. Wow, what a big house. And the gate is so big. The Kitaki family is pretty big around these parts. I like the fox. It's so cute. Ah, that. That's our family crest from the old country. Your family crest? You're clever as the fox, and our teeth. We're clever as the fox, and our teeth are sharp. So it's like a motto. You need a crest too, Apollo. Ooh. How about the scales of justice? Or a lunar lander? <laughs> that was funny. I'll pass, thanks. 
I like how Apollo just inherits Phoenix's old personality. Sure. <laughs> a brightly painted dragon. Why do I get the feeling he's glaring at me? Those paints must have been to... Those paints must have been to repaint this wall. That's right. I called in an artist to do the job right. It might not be him. It's too good looking. <laughs> Nobody's good, remember? Uh, he's sort of okay. No, like, everyone commented like, hmm, that's actually way better than we thought it would be. <laughs> I called in an artist to do the job right. He's the third so far. The third? The first spilled paint all over the entrance here. And the second on my kimono. So why? No, 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 don't tell me. It's better that I don't know. It's just gonna be the mansion again. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else I need to look at there. I guess that's probably just the paint. Okay. All right. Can't examine here yet. Okay, fine with me. Go check this shit out. Sorry, right, kid. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Thank you for being very succinct with that. The Kentuckys. Little Plum. That's a really cute name for someone, so... Yes. Whoa! What is it, Apollo? How about you go through me when talking to her, okay, Trucy? Huh? That seems like a bit of a needless procedure. I'm a lawyer. I live for needless procedures. <laughs> oh, little girl, you should know. We're gangsters. Gangst? Oh, that means you're the bad guys. <laughs> Trucy, through me, please. I'm begging you here. <laughs> the bad guys. I like the sound of that. I'm going to need some warm tea after this. It takes a lot of hard work to protect a family fortune. Things aren't as easy as they used to be for us, bad guys. So you're saying that business is in a slump? Let's not ask about business if we can help it, please. Last night's incident. There was a car accident here last night. Last night. Uh, of course you wouldn't know about it. Sorry to bother you. Wait. Yes? You're talking about that man, aren't you? The one who flew 30 feet and just walked away? That's my daddy! Oh, I should have known. One of our capos thought he'd make a great point man. Capo? Point man? Capo. Capo point man, Phoenix, right? Um, could you avoid using too much, er, industry lingo? In any case, it's been nothing but trouble. I've been cleaning up this mess since morning. Ha! Cleaning up this... paint? With... Was this paint spilled at the time of the accident? It was around nine last night. I heard a crashing noise. I found your father drowning in a sea of paint. So you came to his rescue? You've my husband, the boss, to thank for that. The car that hit your father knocked over this paint. They turned the corner and sped away. We're in the middle of repainting our wall, you see. I'm sure that dragon is glaring at me. But why are you here cleaning it up? What do you mean? I mean, aren't you a gangster? Don't you have any goons to do your dirty work for you? I was thinking this. Please, go through me when you want to! <laughs> Don't be such a stiff lawyer, boy. I suppose we gangsters do have a certain image. Mm, yeah. But we're community-oriented gangsters, you see. The boss likes to give back to the people, see. How noble of him. I availed myself to the... 
Yeah, I availed myself to the public facilities to get rid of all the garbage. Oh. Now there's just the pain on the street to deal with. Public facilities? I wonder if she means that trash can. Good lord, what is happening in there? The Phoenix being in the mob isn't too hard to imagine. He mm. ran an underground poker ring for seven years. Yeah. There's a big trash can on the way to the park. I guess we can check it out. A detective's life sure is a hard one. I'm an attorney, action. Huh? Hmm? Two pieces of garbage with paint on them. These are... Slippers? They look like those slippers you get in the hospital. Look at this, Apollo. Doesn't this go on a car? Side view mirror. Looks like it was torn off when it smacked into something. Or someone. Shattered by something. <laughs> yeah. Or someone. <laughs> Phoenix Wright, that is. You could you could you could break the Elden Ring with that man, that's for sure. Wait, you don't think I do. This could be from the car that hit Mr. Wright. Wow, and he took off its mirror. I never knew daddy was so strong. I hope they never address this. I, I hope it's never brought to light that this is, he like actually didn't get hit or something. I just want this image to stay true. I mean, all signs point to the, him being superhuman. Uh, it's true. It's true. I only have room in my pocket for one of these though. Which do you want to take? Definitely the mirror. Wait, what? Wait, what? Mm. Uh, this is scary. Suddenly, I this mean, is this really scary. I mean, the slippers are evidence that someone that was just in the hospital was here. The mirror's from the fucking car. They, they want you to take the mirror. I know they want me to take the mirror! <laughs> That's so weird. We're gonna have to get a purse. Unlock extra inventory space. Examine Capo Lapo. Personally, I'm a little more interested in this park. You know what I think? I bet they're filming a movie. Let's go take a look. Maybe we'll see someone famous. Trucy. Trucy, no. Hey, miss, stay out of the park. He got mad at me. Um, did something happen here, officer? Huh? Uh, no, move along, nothing to see. Why don't you kids go play someplace else? We're not kids and we're not playing, I'm an attorney. <laughs> something wrong? Ah, uh, Detective Sky! We're fine, ma'am, nothing to report. Who could it be? Oh my god, she looks so good. Uh... Oh my god, she looks so good. The glasses got smaller. Who could this be? Baby girl! <laughs> Detective? Why is she wearing a lab coat? <sighs> this is about to get really rough with these two in the same spot. An, an intellectual void is about to form. Oh, Apollo's got a rough. <laughs> You're hardly one to comment on how people are dressed. And... <clears throat> and these kids are... <laughs> Curiosity Seekers, ma'am. They claim to be lawyers. Ah, why don't you kids run along and play someplace else? Look, we're not! <laughs> or I might spill something on that pretty face of yours. Want a dose of experimental hydroxychloroquine? Hi... Hydroxy, uh, clenodose trace. Hydroxa. Hydroxia selenodosa trace. Hydroxia selenodosa trace. Trace. Hydroxia selenodosa trace. Experimental hydroxia selenodosa trace. Come again? What's hydroxy stuff? 
I take hydroxazine. That's the medicine I take every day. Whatever it is, it doesn't sound good. Let's go, Trucy. Try not to keep out the riffraff, if you would. Try to keep out the riffraff, if you would. Yes, ma'am. No, come back. No, come back. My stupid wife, come back. <laughs> How are we going to get more information like this? Why don't we ask that nice woman across the street? Oh, yes. That nice woman. I can't examine anymore? Wait a minute. Oh, I can't. Famous people, a movie being filmed, a woman trying to get in. I'm scared. Oh, looks like there's some trouble by the park gate. I smell an incident. Ma'am, there's no entry to the park. Now don't you tell me where I can't go, young fella. I always walk through this park on my way home. Please get down from there, you'll hurt yourself, ma'am. That's quite the determined old lady. It's not too late. We can still end the stream here. Is Lotta gonna jump out of the bushes too? <laughs> yeah, that's it. We're about to get fucking doubled. <laughs> I gotta say, I'd really like to know what happened here. Hey, I said no one goes in. Unless you want a face full of hydroxy. Hydroxy dia dogwoods it. Hmm, no dice. People Park, huh? Kind of an odd name for such an empty place. I wonder why it's named that. Hey, there's something written on the gatepost. Huh? Oh yeah, it says... Donated by Big Winds Kitaki. You mean the Kitaki family built this park? It's so nice of them to give to the community like that. Let's not get too friendly with them, shall we? A gangster built a park? Building a park? Odd move for a crime boss. And... Oh, it's... Yeah. Kind of funny how... It moved her over. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? What? What happened in the park across the street? Oh yeah, it's quite the commotion. Chicago lightning, as the boss would say. I thought we were in Los Angeles. Chicago, huh? Gunfire. Someone was killed. Strange circumstances too. You're kidding. What a morning. Trouble everywhere. God, excuse me. The park, the gate, even our house. Did something happen at your house too? A crime without honor, without remorse. I'll fucking kill him. It's a private matter. Wanna hear about it? Somehow, somehow I don't think no is an acceptable answer, Polly. So what happened at your house? Bloomers. Last night. I had a bad feeling about this. Me. Little Plum Kitaki, the victim of a panty snatcher. What? So it wasn't just my panties that were stolen? Yeah, you too, did they? Poor thing. Like I said, whoever did this is a hardened criminal. It wasn't you, was it? N no, 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 of course not. Mercy. I've heard word that the panties have been disappearing lately. And the missing panties all have something in common. It's hard to imagine Trucy's and Mrs. Kitaki's panties having much in common. Uh. I know, we'll find your bloomers too. Great, show me what you've made show me what you're made of. What have you gotten me into this time, Trucy? Girl from before. Oh, welcome home, sweetie. 
Um, hello, mother. She's a Kitaki too. Uh, um, miss, miss. Hmm? Here, our flyer. The, the right anything agency? Anything? Anything agency? Yeah. You like the new flyer? So, um, this is our defense attorney, Mr. Apollo Justice. Attorney? Drop by our office. We'll be waiting. Ah, uh, goodbye. All right. Why did you give her our flyer? I don't know. She seemed like she could use some help. She's the heiress to the gangster dynasty. She doesn't need our help. I wouldn't be so sure. That's all gonna be the same. Didn't miss much, Ghastly. Uh, we're investigating a hit and run of Phoenix Wright, who is, you know, more, less damaged than the car, because he's made of... Uh, uh, something. Built different. Something. No! Built different. No! No! This says no. Oh, maybe we can combine this sign with that sign from the first, the second case of three that never made any goddamn sense. Oh my and they, god. And they were I... talking about, god, that was probably the most inane conversation in the entirety of the Phoenix Wright series. Was Maya and Phoenix talking about what was written on that sign and how it like resulted in them talking about pasta. And it was incomprehensible. Right. Yeah. Ugh, man. Oh, man. In the stand theft. So, what's this place? This would be Mr. Eldoon's house, silly. Oh, so this is where a stand was stolen from. I can see a piece of evidence lying on the ground already. Hey. Whoa. It's gold. Three shots for the price of one? <laughs> yeah. It's a clinic. That's weird. Ugh. Look, there's a police car parked over there. You're right. What's with the sparkly entrance? What is this place? A hospital? There's a sign. Maractus Clinic. Hmm. Oh, that's where the thief went. The thief? The one who snatched my panties. He ran into this clinic last night. Wait, maybe that police car is here to find my panties. I doubt it. Well, there's only one way to be sure. Let's investigate. Ah, oh, there you are, Sonny. Will you find anything yet? No. The longer you loaf around here, the saltier your victory bowl gets. Just remember that. Gold noodles is sounding less like payment and more like punishment. All right, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to use the bathroom to get some more water. Whoa. Uh, Trace is cool so far. Uh, I'm sparing to say too, too much of her, but she's funny.
Kind of a similar vibe to my Imperial, though, so far. Yeah, so we're also investigating, um... This guy got his noodle stand stolen, and now we've seen a couple of women have had their underwear stolen. This all happened on the same day. Uh, and we, we went to visit Phoenix in the hospital because he's like, hey, I got a job for you. And I was like, I got hit by a car. <laughs> That's, I got that going for us. I saw a funny post the other day that was like, every lawyer in Phoenix right has a funny little girl to help them. And yes, I do mean that me as funny little girl was Phoenix. Yeah, was he got hit by a car, flew 30 feet, his head hit a telephone pole, and all he had was a sprained ankle. And they didn't put him in Smash. Damn. Actually, makes you wonder why he has a uh, a gag moveset in Marvel, so to speak, rather than just beating the shit out of everyone. What were you talking uh, about? Oh, uh, I'm just explaining what's happened. Uh, exact guess they had said he just got here. Okay. Uh, he's got a bowl on his head because this guy's name is Noodle spelled backwards. Oh, Dune. World meta. <laughs> oh, the bowl. That's a hamburger. What are you talking about? <laughs> I need an air purifier. It was just... I'm constantly stuffy and my nose is dry. Alright. No! It's quite a sign. I take it that that's no as opposed to old. Old. No, no, old. I. Ah, oh, you like it? Made it myself, I did. I meant to write noodles, but ran out of space. What was Apollo saying? <laughs> Once again, let's just ignore the fact that when characters in this series talks about signs, that it it, it makes no sense, and they are clearly perceiving a different reality than us. Well, <laughs> like m are. more so than they already are, because they're fictional. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. Prior planning prevents poor performance. Lucky for me, it spells a word all by itself. and it spruces up my image, it does. It does have a certain powerful, a power of willful denial things going for it. It does have a certain power of willful denial thing going for it. No. Dog. Look, a doggy. Good boy, good boy, Salty. I'm sure the dog has a real name, Trucy. Yep, sure does. Named Spoon. And it's a she, by the way. Spoon doesn't seem so lively. She didn't get her bowl of salty broth this morning, that's why. How's this dog alive? Like, I've heard horror stories of, uh, like, just giving a dog something with too much salt on it, it just, like, kills it. Yeah, that's... I haven't heard about that. 
I remember my mom telling me some... It, it was some story related to her, like, her, uh... One of her brother's friends at, like, Thanksgiving, they gave... He, he gave his dog, like, uh... I don't know what exactly it was. It was, like, a salty turkey bone, maybe? I don't remember the specifics, but, like, the dog... Like, went into... Shock from it and died. So, uh... Don't give your dogs anything with salt on it. It it or, might kill them. Or grapes. Grapes will just kill the dog. Grapes will, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like grape ice cream is illegal. <laughs> really? Yeah. There's a story about uh, it was either Ben or Jerry, uh, from Ben and Jerry's, was hitting on the other one's sister. Um, so I forget which one's which in the scenario. Okay. And there had been this, there's a, there had always been this issue with making grape flavored ice cream because like something about the chemistry of the grapes made it so that it was made it hard for like uh, the ice cream the to process, melt. It like yeah. effectively acted like anti. Huh? No, go on. It's just it was just part of the. It effectively like an process. acted like antifreeze. Okay. Um, so while he was hitting on his partner's sister, she jokingly was like, well, I'll go on a date with you if you can make grape flavored ice cream. So then the motherfucker managed to make some. And, you know, they're, they're, <laughs> so they end up going on this date at the girl's house. And, you know, they're eating this grape flavored ice cream. And, like, for whatever reason, she lets her dog have some. Yeah, you, you give your dog some food. It, That's what people do. It, dog died, like, instantly. <laughs> And, and so, be, wow. and so then he reported. He re, so being like you know the, the head of this company, he reported his findings to like the FDA. So they made the grape flavored ice cream illegal for like thirty years. Whoa. But I guess rum raisins okay for some reason. Whoa. That's that's something. Yes. What, what, how does the romance of that story end? He killed her dog. <laughs> uh, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't kill her dog. This is fair. He didn't, but still, <laughs> the dog died on the date. It's not going well, I don't think. Mm. You never know. All right, poor little thing. Sniff. Paulo, let's find that stand soon, for spoon's sake. Pretty sure dogs aren't supposed to eat noodles. No, it's salt, Apollo. it's salt. This house is, well, it's old. Oh, maybe that's what he was going, Apollo was going for. It says no and not old to label the house as an old house. Fair? It's been well loved, that's for sure. I've lived here with my wife for many years now. It's got character, though. Just like my soup. I always thought character... I always thought character was a positive thing. Looks like the oil drum is connected to that sink over there. Collecting rainwater to do the dishes. How environmentally conscious. You don't think he uses Raymar to cook his noodles and to make the broth, do you? Oh, I'm sure he finds the best water money can buy. Taste is his business, you know. Look at that sign over there. Eldun only uses water from all natural sources. I think I'll take a rain check on eating here. So funny, Apollo. God. This yours, Mr. Eldun. Hey, that there's the heart and soul of Eldun's noodles. The bowl absorbs my salty soup. Pretty soon it's gonna taste like the noodles. Wow, it does smell like noodles. Do you not wash the bowls? All my other bowls got taken away with my stand. No, it's like it's like a cast iron skillet, you know? Ugh. But for how I serve the food. Get it back for me, sonny boy, I'm begging you. Bowl added to the court record. Now, if I just put this rear view mirror, side view mirror into the bowl, 
No, no, that's crazy. That would never work. Oh, yeah. Paint. It's cut clean. I wonder what's in there. Don't. There are bare wires hanging out. Let's see. Ah! What? What? It's not live. Hmm. I've been thinking about those beans. What? Are, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little joke. Don't scare me like that. You mean don't shock you? Zap. <laughs> that it? Okay. Oh. Uh See El Toon's Noodle's mascot, Mr. Salty. He's so cute. It's not a very endearing mascot, is it? You know, come to think of it, it looks a lot like you, Apollo, especially the red parts. I'll kill you. Can I help it if I like red? There might still just be like a battery in the mirror because like, um. You might have, a, like, a light on the mirror for, like, uh, turn signals and stuff. Suppose. Yeah, I guess it's possible. Uh, what else we got? Police? I don't understand if there was an ambulance outside, but a police car? Maybe they're tax evaders! Uh, sorry, miss. No going into the clinic today. Did something happen? Huh? Oh, Yoshi. no. Nothing to see here. Move along. You'll have to find someplace else to play doctor. Do we look like the right age to be playing doctor? We need a little more info on this Meratix clinic. Merat... 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 Meractix. Yeah. Meractus. Mira... I don't know. Miracle practice? Meractus? We could ask Mr. Eldoon. He is their neighbor, after all. We should check out that garage. What if the thief who stole my panties is still in there? Ugh. <laughs> it's like they have a special offer going on. Three shots for the price of one. Oh, now's our chance, Apollo. Chance for what? I don't need any shots, thank you. Don't you know? Oh no, Apollo is anti -va as an anti-vaxxer. <laughs> Whoever runs this clinic, they seem pretty business-minded. She looks like a magician. Because she is a magician! True. That doorway sure is sparkly. Practice clinic, huh? Looks more like a casino parlor than a hospital. It must be quite profitable. Funny, it looks closed. Maybe they're on vacation today. She needs as many points into it as possible. Hold on, yeah, magicians so are not infilds. That's all decks. <laughs> I wonder if Spoon was the dog that we saw running with Trucy in the flashback, or if there's Probably. actually a dog involved, yeah. Alright, right. L Dunes Noodles. So your stand. L Dunes <laughs> Noodles, was it? Aye, passed down from father to son. Stan's seen its share of salt. Mm-hmm. It's all runs in the family, you might say. I bet high blood pressure does too. So, your Stan Eldoon's noodles was stolen. Oh, it wasn't just the Stan that was stolen, Sonny Boy. I lost those wobbly wheels, my salt-crusted stew pot, my stained sign. I didn't just lose a stand. I lost a legend. No one steals a legend and gets away with it on my watch. Let's find that legend, Apollo. 
Isn't it about time he bought a new one anyway? You think he can afford one, Apollo? No. Phoenix just helps this guy out because he's also a poor motherfucker. Are there any more details you could give me about the stand? You bet, Sunny Boy, it happened last night. I was blowing my whistle like always. Crying the town, I was. The smell of broth filled the streets, thick and salty. I got home, well, right before 10 p.m., I reckon. Guess he's not aiming for the late night market. I washed my bowls and gave the wheels a squirt of grease, then I went inside. When did you notice it had been stolen? Early this morning, before the sun rose. Work starts early. Do that many people eat noodles for breakfast? I'm washed up on the salty shores of ruination. That stand had my whole life in it. Nay, my whole being. He took everything? All my stu soup stock, my noodles, my bowls, and my dreams. At least they left one bowl. Look there on the ground. You don't find that stand today. Then I'll be forced to walk the streets peddling that bowl. My last bowl. Please. I'm under enough pressure here as it is. I can't yeah. this guy got into Smash and not Phoenix. Ah. Yeah. And the and it's the worst character too. And by worst I mean worst to fight. Nobody fucking likes fighting Min Min. Cool idea, just the fucking worst. That's it! That's where the thief who snatched my panties ran to. Crying shame, that is. They have to steal, make it my loincloth. Not some pretty girl's panties. The garage, right. You don't think the thief lives there, do you? Heh. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past that good-for-nothing doctor. Hmm. Do I detect a little animosity here? Let's make sure to check out the garage thoroughly. There's a cop car. Hey, do you think something happened next door? There's a police car out front. <laughs> probably someone, probably gave someone food poisoning, I'll bet. If anyone's at risk of giving someone food poisoning, a police car got here this morning, actually. I asked that, I asked what they were up to, but they wouldn't even tell me the neighbor. But they wouldn't even tell me, the neighbor. <laughs> hmm. Not that I was surprised much. That doctor works for the wrong crowd. It was just a matter of time before he got what was coming to him. Beh. The wrong crowd? Never you mind about that. Sorry, Sonny boy. My interest is for my stand and precious little else. Get cracking on that case. Okay. You can tell my bowls by the Mr. Salty logo. The mascot of Eldoon's noodles. They come to the stand. They sit, they drink deep from that bowl. And when they see the bottom, their face looks just like Mr. Salty's. Genius, no? Very high concept. You can't ply a trade if you don't love the tools. Remember that. Yes, sir! Juicy has a thing for professionals, clearly. Ah! Skeleton. This is the place. This is where the panty snatcher ran. Are you sure? Maybe. Let's look for clues. Clues. The panty snatching. Clues. Like a pair of panties. Drusy? Could you try not saying panties so many times? Kitty cat. Wait a minute, that car. <laughs> Hey, kitty cat! Here, kitty, 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 kitty cat! Kitty cat! Meow! That's good. It's not coming down. We do look kind of suspicious. You have to admit. It's okay, kitty cat. His hair won't hurt you. It's okay, kitty cat. She won't make you disappear in her hat. Ah! 
Someone's there! Oh, it's just a gold pane in the human skeleton. Oh. It's just a gold painted human skeleton. So, I was gonna say it looks gold, but then I was like, well, I guess it's just plastic or whatever. Or it's just the coloring of the game or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a human skeleton and painted gold? Yo, Elblitch? Return the bones. There's a mannequin hand waving to us from the box behind the skeleton. This place just screams hospital storage, don't you think? No. Scream something, that's for sure. Oh shit. That is a ladder. <laughs> that's a fucking ladder. Look! It's a folding ladder. Polly! That's called a step ladder. Come on! Oh no. Oh no, that means I'm I I'm the the assistant. She inherited the stepladderness from her dad. Well, yeah, because yeah, obviously she's not going to be wrong. He raised her. <laughs> exactly. She's going to be right. A stepladder. How is that different from a regular ladder then? It's, it's a much more complex piece of machinery. It's like two ladders stuck together. So you admit that basically it's a ladder, right? Wait, huh? You have to look past the form. At the essence of the thing. Mm. Can we talk about something else? You're just a sore loser. <laughs> okay, pl it should have been Plato justice, damn. <laughs> <laughs> something about this ugly green car. Let's take a oh closer God, look. Car. It's missing a fucking mirror. Oh, come on! Oh my God, the muffler! <laughs> oh, come <laughs> the on! The muffler! <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, Takumi's a hack! He just reused plot elements! Oh my god. There's even a phone the, on the ground! The muffler and the muffler. And it's an ugly green car instead of an ugly red car! Oh my god. That reminds me. I once read a record of a case that Mr. Wright worked on many years ago. It's not a <laughs> Apparently. There was this car with a piece of cloth shoved into the tailpipe. That piece of cloth turned out to be a vital clue to solving the case. Wow! I remember that case record whenever I'm checking out a car. And I always check the tailpipe. Everyone's gotta have a hobby, I guess. It's my job. Wouldn't it be funny if... Oh my god, he's lucky there was something in the tailpipe. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking blow a gasket is what it's... <laughs> What? Why? <laughs> what is this horror beyond my comprehension? That's just what women look like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Why is it like? You know what? I'm not gonna ask why it's red. Moving on. Uh, wait a second. Are these your? <laughs> ah! My panties. What? ALREADY?! <laughs> He's lucky it was his fannies. Wow, thank you, Apollo. You're a genius. Amazing. No, no, really, don't mention it. No, I'm serious. I'm really impressed. What is that? That's so weird looking. Oh, okay. You must have a nose for finding girls' panties. Um, what are those? My little panties, of course. They've come home to mama. I can't wait to use them. You're going to put them on now? Watch closely now. See? Nothing in the panties. Ta-da! Whoa! Where'd that come from? How did that bowl get in your panties? My panties are in extra dimensional space. Anything can fit in there. I we were getting a purse. This works out. <laughs> in the inventory space now. They're my magic panties. It's one of my best tricks. Magic panties. They love them over at the Wonder Bar. I do shows there nightly. You mean those panties are a prop? You could have told me a little sooner! Trucy's panties put discreetly away in Trucy's pocket. 
All right. Zoom and enhance. <laughs> Says Edgeworth Stitch on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Something the matter? Uh, I was just wondering if there was like a switch on these. Of course not. Huh? Mysterious. Oh, do you want to know the secret of my panties? <laughs> no, no thanks. Who uses magic panties in a stage show anyway? God, the giant bow would be like ridiculously uncomfortable, I imagine. Maybe super comfortable. I just wouldn't know. Hmm. Well, that's one case closed at least. What are you saying? We still have to catch the sly devil that ran off with the tool of my trade. Oh, right. Yeah, we're not finished searching the car. Well, let's grab the phone first. Look, a cell phone. Someone dropped it beneath this tire. If the car moved, it would be crushed for sure. Hmm, I wonder if it belongs to the doctor here. We should bring it to him later. Fuck. Look at this cute little watch strap. I want one. It's kind of odd, though. What is? I mean, if you wanted to know the time, you could just look at the phone itself. Hey, you're right. Sharp, Apollo. Th thanks. Finally, some respect. So what does that tell you? Well, the owner of this phone doesn't think through details, for one. Did drop their phone after all. I kind of figured they were a little spacey already. Oh, good point. And of course... Hey, look at that! The mirror's been broken off. Now this is a clue! What? You're smiling like you know something I don't. You aren't keeping a clue from me, are you, Polly? A clue? Let's see. I think These I do slippers. have just the clue no. you've got. Yeah, right? Take that! Hits her with it. Whoa. My clue is this. Whoa, it's the same color it's the same color and size and everything. A perfect match. I guess we could check it out. Hmm. Two pieces of garbage with paint on them. Look at this, Apollo. Doesn't this go in a car? Every mirror looks like it was torn off when it smacked into something. Someone. Well, looks like we've just solved the case. So the car that hit Daddy last night is sitting right in front of us, yep. Wow, you put the pro and professional, Apollo. Gee, thanks, Trucy. Apollo! Huh? What is it? Now that we've solved this case, we should go report to Daddy. He'll mope if we leave him alone too long, knowing him. Um, okay. He doesn't seem the type to mope, though. And this is hardly a case with reporting. will just be to talk to her about what we should do. Yep. Yo, how's it going? Daddy, how do you feel? Not bad, Trucy, not bad. 
It's good to have you youngins on the case. Let's old daddy-o get some well-reserved R&R. The elderly need their rest. Uh, isn't he only 33? Um, we've cleared up most of the cases. I was right about you. Competent. Capable. Tell me what you found out, if you want to. Your enthusiasm is overwhelming, Phoenix. Progress report. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to be back this early. Polly's amazing. He found my panties so quick. Almost like he was the one who stole them. You have an interesting concept of praise. And? Did you find the mad driver who gave me that 30 foot toss? Apparently, it was a doctor from the Maradix clinic. Hmm, Maradix, eh? I've heard of him. Nothing good, mind you. That reminds me, a police car was parked outside the clinic. Maybe something happened. What is this Maradix clinic anyway? All I've heard are the rumors. The clinic's been making good money, in a bad way. Bad? Ties to organized crime. The Kentucky family. Ah, uh, the Kentucky family. Um, the Kentucky family? He did that on purpose. Some injuries you can't take to public hospitals, see? They use the Maradix Clinic for their patch-up jobs. Interesting. It looked like something had happened in that park. Ah, uh, a body was found there in, in unusual circumstances. Something more unusual than being dead? It's not our concern in any case. Right, let's ignore that and find the, that noodle stand. Whatever happened to professional curiosity? Thanks. Really. If I get tired of sleeping, maybe I'll head down to the Maradix place. Maybe hit him up for some reparations. A little legal action would do me some good. Um, I was wondering when I get paid. We solved the case of your accident and um, found a missing article of clothing. My panties! Yes, Trucy. That leaves the noodle stand. Eh. Feel free to drop in if you get stuck. I'd be happy to help with anything not involving money. Goodbye, quid pro quo. Hello, pro bono. Bono. Shut up. Right, back to the office to plan our next move. Hey Phoenix, check this shit out. Look, my fannies, they came home to mama. Thanks Apollo. I was worried about them too. Drusy special ordered those. A startling display of parental concern. I hate to have to buy a new pair. Ugh. Make that a not so startling display of cheapskateness. It's actually a relief to be so thoroughly ignored. Phoenix knows what's up. He's like, I'm not gonna waste your time. No dialogue, you gotta sit through or anything. And this was the thing that led you to the car. Yes, sir. The mirror you knocked off was just the clue we needed. Good work, Apollo. Of course, you might say, I was the one who made solving that case possible. You don't get points for knocking off a car mirror. <laughs> yes, he does. If I didn't get hit by that car, you wouldn't even have a case. <laughs> you ever think about that? I am very intelligent. <laughs> you. You're the woman from the Kitaki place. Yes. I knew it! Something the matter and you want our help, right? Well, you've come to the right place. This way, please. Um, thank you. My name is Alita Tiala. Alita Tiala. I have a request. I thought her name would be Kitaka or whatever. 
Kentucky. Kentucky. Your request. Let me guess. Something's been stolen. Um, your flyer. It says now defending, so I thought... What? You mean you want me to defend you? Me? Maybe you can tell us what happened. Were you hit by a car? Did someone steal your stand? Or your panties? No, no! I'm not the client, actually. The client would be my... Well, my fiancé, I suppose you'd call him. Fiancé? What happened to him, then? He was arrested this morning. The charge was... Murder! Murder! Have you heard about what happened at the park? Yeah, they're filming a movie. Yeah. Oh, God, I hope Wendy Oldbag's the killer, finally. 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 So what's your story? You frequent the Kitaki Mansion, yes? Are you a member of their, um, organization? No. Not yet. Not yet? You see, I'm to be married next month to the boss's son. Oh, okay. Yeah, the boss's son. So he's a, uh, a gangster. Yes, but the Kitakis are locally, are locally responsible gangsters. I thought it'd be nice for a change. Quit my boring job. Live the good gangster life. I think you're onto something. <laughs> this Kitaki. I like the sound of that. Oh no, Trucy. I'm not sure your daddy would care much for that. Wh what happened? I haven't been told all the details. But I do know a body was found in the park. Near the Kitaki Mansion. There were a lot of police cars there. Apparently the victim was shot with a pistol. But I hear the circumstances of the shooting were... Rather unusual. And your fiancé was arrested for this? Um, what sort of person is your fiancé? Your fiancé is the Kitaki family's only son, correct? His name's Waki! Waki Kitaki! I brought a photo! Oh my god. No. No, that can't be right. Surely you've, you've chanted me the wrong photo. The blue badger has bastard. a... The blue bastard has a beard. Well! That's really, there's something funny about a gangster wearing a cop shirt. It is pretty funny. Huh. Is he the is he the steel samurai kid? Like what is this? <laughs> he looks a little bit like him, yeah. Well, that's quite the photo. I know, oh, he can be powerful and menacing, but so cute. But if he's the boss's only son. Yes, I'm sure he'll take his father's place someday. Say, I'm a boss already of this agency. Yeah, whatever. Please help my walkie, please. Right, my first solo defense case. Prime boss's son or not, I'll prove he's innocent. I prepared a letter of request. I know you need those. Finally, we're in business. Right, let's go check out the scene of the crime. You knew it was gonna be murder. Always, mur always with the murder. Always with the murder. She's still trying. And now there's a mo that cop turned into a motorcycle. Transformer. So this is it. My first murder crime scene. Ah, oh, it's you kids again. Look, can't you find some other place to play? We're not playing! We're, um, investigating, aren't we, Apollo? Sir, I have a letter of request here. Letter of... Huh? Why does it say hit request on it? <laughs> Miss Tiala must have used the Kitaki stationery. Gonna be Emma again, excuse me, coming through. Ah, okay. Ah, it's you, Mr. Gavin! Who's this guy? He looks exactly like someone I know! Apollo, <laughs> your eyes! Oh, Apollo, please. It's Dante from the Devil May Cry series, can't you tell? <laughs> yeah, come on, man. I must say, I'm used to being inspected by the ladies. 
But this is the first time I've felt this way with a man. Nice. M Mr. Gavin? Hot damn, he says something German. What do you know? What do you know? We're in denial. Ah, uh, Fräulein. <laughs> what is a sweet morsel like you doing in such a dismal place? Can I help? Yes. The policeman, uh, the policeman officer fo fellow here won't let us in. We even have a letter of request. You must be exhausted. Standing out here. I will take you to the scene of the crime. Oh, really? Fire leave, officer. Y y yes, sir. Of course, sir. <laughs> Very well. This way, Fraulein. Fraulein. Whee! What about me? Hey, what about me? <laughs> oh, God. On that note, enjoy your investigation. Thank you. Will we see you again? Yeah. Ask the wind for all line. I'll be riding on it. Teleports away. Was he ever really real? Who the fuck was that? Yee! Oh, look! A, a corpse! Whoa! Hey, it's just a mannequin. Wow, it sure got me. <clears throat> Why don't I ask exactly what it is you're doing here? It's gonna be Emma, okay. Oh, it's you. <laughs> How did you kids get in here? Oh, this guy, well, he was more like a prince, really. He let us in. Him again. That glimmerous fop, always getting in my way. Anyway, the scene is off limits, pal. Excuse me? We have a letter of request. Mm, one moment. Why is she holding that big magnifying glass? We had to wait 50 minutes for Emma to finish reading it. I'd recognize that handwriting anywhere. Scientific analysis always. Uh, scientific analysis says this was written by Alita Tiala. Thanks. It took you 30 minutes to figure that out! She's so still impressive. stupid! It's so kind of impressive that she could just know. <laughs> God, Emma, you're so fucking stupid! So, what's up with the mannequin there? What? It's taking the place of the body, preserving the scene of the crime as it was found. The body? Was pulling? The stand? So, you're a defense attorney, are you? I hate those. Detective Emma Sky, I'm in charge of this crime scene. She doesn't seem that happy about it. Yeah, like, Emma's, uh... This is punished Emma. She doesn't seem that happy about many things. I trust you know how to stay out of the way. I always carry two pairs of handcuffs. Just in case. One for each hand. One for each hand. God. They gave this woman a job. <laughs> um, if you could spare a moment to take a look at this. Right. The snacks. I've seen the art of her eating the snacks. Oh, no, no. Can you see, um, <laughs> um streaming busy? Yeah, sure. Eating snacks, yes. Is he eating snacks, I'd say. Yeah. This is going nowhere fast. Take a look at these panties.
Sam. Sam is right. Is this your phone? Emma, is this your stupid phone? Oh, I was wondering where I put that. <laughs> Thought I dropped hey it. Hey there, I hit no messing with the crime night. scene. God, there's a moth on my mouth. Get off Actually, my mouth. If, if somehow she hit a phoenix, considering we know Gumshoe got into a car accident. Yes. After running a thousand red lights. But we need to investigate. <laughs> Investigations are to be carried out by professionals. Scientifically. Give me your glasses. She's not going to let us check out the crime scene, is she? Hey, Apollo. My very unscientific analysis tells me something here is very suspicious. I think I know what you mean. It's kind of hard not to notice. I better check out what we came here to find, at least. Yeah, I'm led to believe Gumshoe is dead. Uh, like, it's possible. Well, think about it. He was like 33 or whatever. Mm -hmm, so now mm -hmm. he'd be like 40, and you just die when you hit 40. You just die. Yeah. Yeah, he was on his way out. He was on his way out. Okay, she's just not going to let us do anything with the crime scene. Oh, look. That stand. Sheldon. It says... El Dune. I've noticed. Well, we've solved the case of the missing stand, at least. Let's get paid. Let's get paid. <laughs> the circumstances could stand to be better. I don't get it. I don't get. I don't get it. Okay. Can we look at the trash can? Okay, she she just doesn't want us to do anything until we talk to her. Fine, Emma. I'm ready to receive brain damage from you. Um, Detective Sky. Quiet, please. It's snack time. Oh. 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 Oh no. The ASMR Coomers are gonna win. Always. They're gonna win. She's very the, 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 methodical. The Chuck E. Cheese, mach the Chuck e. Cheese <laughs> machine spitting out tickets. <laughs> We're not making much progress here. Emma, what happened to you? She must not be very busy. I've, uh... I never seem to get a lucky break. Back after nine years, and they won't give me the position I requested. Back after nine years. I guess it would have been nine years. She yeah. Was, and she was 15, so now she's, uh, 24. Back after nine years, and they won't give me the position I requested. And then I hear he gave up the defense attorney life. He? Who's he? An ex-defense attorney? Your story. I'm Detective Sky. I can speed up the munching. We're not making much progress here. Munch, munch, munch. She's like a Pokemon. Okay, she don't care. Uh, I guess I'll just ask the last thing and see what happens. Did you show her the lawyer's badge? I did, and she didn't care. She didn't, she didn't care. She didn't care. This punished Emma. Yeah, same thing. It's snack time. 
Yeah, so Taco was saying this actually predates Rise from the Ashes. Does it? I could, uh, yeah, I, I figured it wouldn't have. Right, I figured it wouldn't have either, but. Um. Right, so she's not letting us do anything. And I guess I could do this. She might like that. No, she doesn't care. All right, we're going back to Phoenix then. Is this your phone? Looks like that woman's still causing trouble. Look, no one goes in. That means you. Oh, what's the difference? Let me go. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, sorry. That's it. I'm suing. But I might change my mind for five bucks. What is she, some kind of con artist? Okay. I'm hoping it's just going to stay like that, where you just have to imagine who it is. Yeah, we probably do just have to go to, uh... It's either gonna be Phoenix, to be like, hey, do you know this woman? Which would be kind of a stretch, but... Ah, you're back! Run into some problems? Oh, Polly, didn't you want to tell Daddy something? Who, me? No, I'm fine, really. What's this? So there is a problem. No, 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 no problem, actually. I got a defense request. A defense request! That is a problem. Huh? I've given up the court. I'm not a lawyer anymore. The request was for me! No, right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? He's doing that on purpose, I know it. Murder! What about this defense request? It's related to the murder in People's Park, actually. Guess what? We found Mr. Eldoon's noodle stand at the scene of the crime. Did you now? That's unusual indeed. Never heard of a noodle stand being used as a murder weapon. Uh, I think the murder weapon was something else. You mean you don't know what the murder weapon was? That funny detective lady won't let us on the scene. What kind of detective wears a lab coat anyway? A lab coat, hmm? Didn't think she'd be involved with this. You know her? You could say that. I just saved her life in her relationship with her sister. I basically own her because of that. She owes me everything. Sky connection. So, you know her, don't you? I met her on a case. This was about 10 years ago. She was still a high school student at the time. That would make her about the same age as me. That's my daddy. He knows all the police types. Oh wait, maybe you know that other guy too. That other guy? The shining prince on the motorcycle. Prince? Apollo, tell me about this Prince of Trucies. Indulge a concerned father. He was at the crime scene. He looked just like Mr. Gavin. Did he now? You know him? My guess is he's Christoph Gavin's younger brother. His brother? Or acquaintances, after a fashion. Clavier Gavin. Rock and roll god incarnate. Clavier? What a lovely name. He's so dreamy. I didn't know Mr. Gavin had a brother. What was he doing out there? I have a feeling you'll be pass passing cross... What was I even? Passing... Crofts? Can't escape from passing fates. Pa <laughs> passing... Crofts. Is I like, Whoa. I have a feeling you'll be crossing paths again soon. Now... What was the problem again? Having trouble investigating the crime scene in the park? Yeah, that detective woman won't let us. Go to the office. Under the silk top hat, you'll find a bottle of white powder. Give her the cocaine. Try taking that to the de try taking that to this detective. White powder? I hope it's not what I think it is. It is anthrax. Just take it to her. It'll be fine, you'll see. Oh, and tell her I said hi. 
You got it. Yeah, as far as I can tell, this came out in 2007, and the DS release of, of one came out in 2009. Oh, really? I thought it was the other way around. Okay. It's interesting. So, if anything, like, this is weird that Emma's character is like, well, I don't know, we haven't really seen the full breadth of her character here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where was that he just said to look? On top of the what? Under the top hat. So this must be the silk top hat Mr. Wright mentioned. Let's take a closer look. Yep. Huh? Whoa! You know what this is, Trucy? I remember finding some in Daddy's dresser when I was little. Oh my god, Edgeworth's touched this. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I thought it was sugar, so I licked it. He got mad at me. This is getting more and more suspicious. White powder placed gingerly in the pocket. Let's go talk to that detective. She's sure to know what that white powder is. This is like weird though, because it's like, hey, Emma, remember that thing from the, 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 thing the last that you case? Did. And it'll yeah. be like, ah, yes, that thing. Behold! So your white powder. Um, does this ring any bells? Oh, that, is that? It couldn't. Where'd you get that? I brought it from the office. Yeah, plus you they were, they're work at the Wright and Co. law offices, yes? Or, yeah, sort of. Detective Sky, how do you know my daddy? D -d -d daddy I'm sorry, who did you say you were? Trucy Wright, Phoenix Wright's daughter. What? Mr. Wright has a daughter? You seem shocked. Well, if you're Mr. Wright's daughter and you're his apprentice, then I'm available to help you in any way I can. Oh, uh, thanks. You can start by not calling me Mr. Wright's apprentice. This powder is used for detecting fingerprints. Fingerprints. I guess you might call it a memento from the time I spent with Mr. Wright. White powder memories. If you find any evidence with fingerprints on it, please let me know. We'll dust for prints. Well, she's quite the eager beaver all of a sudden. Yeah, I'm curious if, like, they had had the idea for Rides from the Ashes already. They just never got to make it, yeah. right? Because there's a lot of specific details they're talking about. Like, they referenced the muffler and stuff. This, yeah. The, like, clearly, I, I think that, that has to be the case, then. It's like... Because um, it this, fits so this, perfectly with us now. With it now. Yeah. And, and this would seem insanely random. If, if yeah. you hadn't played Rise in the Ashes. Yeah, but a lot of time did pass, so it's like, oh, okay, sure, some stuff happened. But then it was like 10 years ago. Wait a minute. 10 years ago would be... So Sorry, it would have to be yeah. some time after the first game or in the first game because his first case uh, yeah. is his first case, right? Like, it, there, it couldn't have been yeah, before yeah. the first game. The case... The report came in late last night. The body was found much as you see it now. Uh, except it was a real body. But why? Why was the body pulling a noodle stand? If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't still be here. Well, what was the cause of death? A bullet wound to the temple. It was shot by a pistol. A pistol. Not the easiest thing to come by in this day and age. Uh-huh. Unless you're a cop, or a gangster. Incidentally, the victim's name was Pal... Maracus. Okay, Maractus. Was Pal. There we go. Yeah, you got her to say Pal. Inci say. Incidentally, the victim's name was Pal Maractus. I just received the autopsy report, in fact. Here you go, Pal. I mean, really, what's up with this case? 
It's enough to make me want to run off pulling a, mystery, a mysterious noodle stand behind me. Not so mysterious, actually. We should tell her, Apollo. After all, we know where the stand came from. A likely story. I didn't come here to play games, you know. Actually, we do know where this noodle stand came from. The noodle stand's owner is... Oh god, who could it be? Oh, who could it be? Who's the old guy? This is the proprietor of L. Dune's noodles, Mr. L. Dune himself. He's famous in this part of town. Not bad. I guess Mr. Wright picked the right kids for the job. That saved me a lot of work. Thanks. Noodle stand added to the court record. Put, put into uh, pocket. Is that, yeah, is that in his pocket too? What sort of person was the victim anyway? Well, here, let me... June 14th, after 10 p.m., cause of death, single bullet to the right temple. Between 10, 15, and 10, 45 p.m., damage to brain resulting from bullet wound. Entry point, right temple. He's 25 now, okay. Mood! Touchy! Wait, did say Rajo it does? I wouldn't be surprised if it was all question marks. All right, what sort of person porcin, porcin was the victim anyway? You mean, what did he do? He was a doctor. A doctor? I'm starting to see a connection here. Who, me? I'm just a supervisor for this crime scene. Detective Sky. Hmm. I was out of the country for a while. I came back to be a forensic scientist. That is one smug, stupid woman. Ooh. Were you studying abroad? Something like that. I was studying in your rope. Forensic sciences, mind you. But when I got back here, they threw me in the criminal affairs. Just like that. Why don't you just become a forensics expert in Europe? Oh shit. Oh my god, I wasted my life. Well, I suppose that was an option, but I had a lot of favors to repay to people back here. And I wanted to get into Edgeworth's pants. But something about a ninja prevented me from doing that. Anyway, favors? Wasn't she in high school when she left? What? What's that look for? I was involved in an incident before I left. But Mr. Wright and his people helped me out. I owed them. Really, I had no idea. If she's been out of the country for a while, she probably doesn't know about Mr. Wright's current mm, state of affairs. Um, could you tell us a bit about the defendant? He's the only son of the Kitaki family, yes? Waki Kitaki. I don't know if he is the boss's son, but he is certainly throwing his weight around. Violently. In the detention center. I see. Why was he arrested in the first place? You are a defense attorney, aren't you? You're not his by any chance. Uh, actually, yes, I am. Well, we have a witness to the moment of the crime. Eh? The witness called the police. They'll be testifying during the trial tomorrow. What? Could you tell us a bit more about the victim? Well, let's see. Apparently, he's the physician at a clinic in the area. Quite well off, too, from the sound of it. The clinic's name is... The Maractix Clinic. Hmm. Maybe that's why the cop car was parked there. Oh, 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 I see, I see. I just glanced over and saw what Otaku said. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's Mal Paractus. Yeah, but they switched uh, it. Yeah. Uh, the victim, oh my God, director of like the Veronics um, Clinic, died pulling the noodle stand. He looks like the guy that died in uh, the final case of two. Juan, or whatever his name was. Yeah, it's like older evil Juan. But also, this is kind of just a dude. It's kind of just a dude. What? You've been to the clinic? Yeah. Though, on a related issue, I told the detective about the case of the stolen noodle stand. I see. So that means... Dr. Maractus Maracht stole the stand and pulled it all the way here. That would seem to be the case. But why? Don't ask me! Oh, I could probably examine the scene now. There's gotta be a good clue or two around here. You and your trash cans, go ahead, knock yourself out! Please, can't you see I'm doing my... Huh? L look Another pair of underwear! Wow, Apollo! You're a genius at finding panties. Stop saying that. Wait. These aren't... They're not mine! But these have been stolen too? Bloomers added to the court record. This mannequin is dressed up to look like a police officer. I've seen one at the station. A mannequin in place of a body. The body of the victim was already has already been removed. Do you think the victim was the noodle stand thief? What, you think someone killed him because he stole it? Yeah! Taking care of business, little plum kitaki style. Try not to sound too eager about that, please. And this is Mr. Eldoon's noodle stand, obviously. It does say Eldoon in big letters, doesn't it? And that mark on his paper lantern there looks familiar. It's going to be a little weird telling him what with the corpse and all. Anyway, that wraps up that wraps up three of our cases. That's right. Congratulations, Apollo. And that leaves us with one case that's worse than all three put together. Murder. Blue tarps have been placed on the ground around the stand. Apollo, I bet the victim was going to have a picnic here. I guess he could have eaten all the noodles he wanted. Don't touch those! Those are preserving the crime scene. Oh, I guess the police put the tarps there after all. You can actually see more of the crime scene in the left monitor. The, the left panel. You can see the top of uh, it. Like, you can see the, the noodles sure, sure, part. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Soup. Soup! And this is Mr. Elden. Yep, yeah, okay. Benches line the river running through the park. Ah, a little urban oasis. I bet children come here to splash around in the water. That river's a little deep for splashing, and a little dirty. Well, they could listen to the water and pretend they were playing. It's, it's, that's a knife. Oh God, I. That's not a knife. Uh, you know, that's a I'm, knife. <laughs> I'm starting to believe that Trucy could be Maya's daughter because of how stupid she is. <laughs> It's a knife! A shiv, to be precise. Ooh, lingo. The defendant, Waki Kitaki, is the son of a, of a known of known gangsters. The police are assuming this belongs to him. Wait, but wasn't the murder weapon a pistol? Huh, look at this. There's a handprint on this shiv. 
A handprint. Then there might be fingerprints. Let's investigate. Right, first, choose the fingerprint you want to examine. Choose the fingerprint? Look closely at the handle. Oh, it's all greasy. See, there's more than one fingerprint there. Those black spots? That's right. Pick the one you want to analyze. Well, probably the most well-defined one. Right, let's get detecting. Wow, she's practically glowing with excitement. First, sprinkle some crack <laughs> over the print. <laughs> Just touch the screen like this, see? The oil left by the print absorbs the aluminum powder. So you just dust it on and blow it off. B blow It's like whistling. You know how to whistle, don't you? Just put your lips together. Wow, it's like magic. <laughs> Isn't it though? Right, let's give it a shot. Incidentally, it's important that you Never cover the entire this. fingerprint with the powder. time <laughs> by some miracle <laughs> with the wires cross and allow us to do the thing <laughs> it's less likely than you think oh come on oh it did some of it fuck <gasps> somehow you did it <gasps> Wait, why is it working when you do it? Keep going, Tommy! Tommy, don't stop! Tommy! Don't! Stop! We did it! Why did that work? What the fuck was happening? Why did that work? Wait, why was that happening? Was it like delayed from my- Was it delayed from my mic or was it picking up you for some reason? That's so weird! It's a fucking forensic miracle! We did it, pals! We blew this case wide open! <laughs> well, we're not doing that every single time, because that's not gonna fucking fly. I almost passed out. Next, to match the print. The police office has samples of you, uh, so you can tell whose finger this print belongs to. Hmm. That doesn't sound like much fun as actually finding the print. Okay, pick the person whose print you think this is. You probably have a good idea whose knife this is already. Wait, think it is or is? Well, Sus Among Us! Sus, Sus Among Us! Sus, Sus Among Us! It's the same! She's the it's same! It's really her! <laughs> Emma, really it her. is you! <laughs> Alright, Sus Among Us. Uh. Holy uh, shit, it's, it's chaos! <laughs> it's a perfect galaxy finger. Maximum galactic or ga galaxy. Whoa. That one looks cool. Uzumaki. It's a wave. Ugh. Whoa! Holy shit, the vortex. Damn, Trucy's got a normal one. Saw some among us. Saw some among us, Emma. <laughs> Compare. Emma. I hope she says something stupid. I'm a guess. Amagus. <laughs> Amagus. Oh shit, it's our defendant. Yep, isn't it amazing? Ah, the power of science. It's my life. Apollo, she's sparkling. Yeah, I know. And I'm dimming. Look sharp, spirits up. The real fight is yet to come. Chin up, Polly. The trial hasn't even started. I'm, star I'm already losing. 
Knife added to the court record. So, have you met the defendant? God, these weird side tendrils drive me crazy. Maybe she was the one who was in One Piece Chapter 1004. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's like the worst fucking panel in all of One Piece. God. Like, people make fun of it too, because it's like, it, it, there's so many chapters end on a silhouette. And that's right. the worst one, because like, <laughs> it's the, worst one. The, the character either never showed up, or he screwed up the silhouette. Ugh, it's so fucking weird. I, I liked the, I liked the Anel theory. That one was the funniest. <laughs> that one was definitely the funniest. Not the Virgo spoon theory. Yeah, yeah, not the not the not the Virgo spoon theory. I do like the Emma Sky theory. Yeah, all right. That's for all the One Piece SWAT readers out there. <laughs> I, I think the anime's at that. I mean, no, I it's, it's, gone, no, it's not there yet. I think, I think they're on the roof currently in the anime. Yeah, they, they haven't gone to chapter 1000 yet. Okay, they're close though. They're close. They're really close. Anyway, so if you met the defendant, uh, uh, nope. Visiting hours are almost over at the defense, at the defensing, the detention center. You might think about wrapping up here and heading over. God, she looks so good. Good idea. I don't know what good it will do. We have a witness in a knife with Prince. Have I mentioned I've got a bad feeling about this? Don't worry. It's like a right tradition. <laughs> Some traditions I can live without. Bye, Emma. I'll miss you. Uh, I think we have to go home and then to the detention center. That was normal practice. Yeah. Uh, good old detention center. Oh, I'm sorry. Meeting hours for the day are all done. But we still have three minutes. I'll put in your request, but don't expect anything. The father's talking in the private room with him. The father? You mean like a priest? God, Trace, you're so stupid. I mean the suspect's father, Mr. Winfred Big Wins Kitaki himself. Not someone I care to meet. Die, you! You're the you're the one on your way out, old. Ah, oh, they're here. I love him. They really made him look exactly like, um... Oh my god. Yeah, uh, uh... The Godfather. Uh, what's his fucking name? Is it Marlon Brando? Yeah, yeah, Marlon Brando. Marlon yeah, Brando, yeah. and then... God, who's, uh, uh... Who, play, who plays the main son in The Godfather? Oh, that's, um, Al Pacino? Al, Al Pacino, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks fucking just like him. As he should. Whoa! Like that's that's just Marlon Brando. <laughs> that's Marlon Kitaki. <laughs> Whoa! This guy radiates power. Power. With a cute apron? It's very cute. You walk, he's the lawyer. Y yes, sir. Well, I'm Big Wins Kitaki, fourth head of the Kitaki family. Capiche? I'll I'll. Uh, if we don't finish this day, I'll try and work on a fucking Italian accent. I'm a terrible Italian, not knowing, not having an Italian accent. Or actually, I came to speak to your son. You come to me on the day of my son's Mr. incarceration. <laughs> nah, that just sounds like the Trump impression. He's goaded with the sure. sauce. <laughs> yes, my son's innocent. He killed no one. If he were found guilty, it wouldn't be good. Capiche? Yes! I'm all about capiche and capiche loud and clear. You gotta do more than just to understand to make it. You'll learn though, even if the lesson comes at the end of your short life. I don't feel so good. What's the big idea, old man? 
You can't treat me like a kid no more, not now. What is on your eye? It's Naruto. It is Naruto. Naruto. He's like sweating on the right there, and then he's got whiskers. I don't know if that's sweat. I think that's supposed to. Well, I think that's what it's supposed to. It be. could be a bizarre cheek piercing. That does exist. Oh God. Hmm. It could be. You know, Save I persist. I. It does kind of match his ear piercing. I wanted to go to the clink. I like it here. No, it disappeared. You're right. It's gone. I don't know what the fuck Dante that is. Dante Bio. Okay, but why is this guy's name Walkie Talkie? I'm, I'm very confused about this. But why is he Naruto? He's a fox spirit. Or a fox guy. Hey, yeah, I, I guess so. Like, that's a Naruto face through and through. <laughs> like, there's no, there's no denying this. That, that is Boruto's father, Nalt. <laughs> this is Nalt. You must be lucky. A G's not a G till he does hard time, bizoy. You'll see. When I get out of here, things will change. Silence. My apologies, Mr. Justice. He's usually such a nice boy. Forgive me if I have a hard time believing that. You can't take me out of your wing like this, old man! You heard me! I don't need no trial! I did it! I think that's enough for today, Mr. Justice. Don't let me down tomorrow. So much for talking to our client. But we made so much progress today! We even found my panties. I had fun, at least. Of course, the biggest mystery of all remains. How am I supposed to build a case for the trial? Oh, almost forgot. It's time for my show. Tonight I'm performing at the Wonder Bar. You should come check it out. I see that this game has pacing issues. <laughs> huh. Mr. Rice not here today. He said his old foot injury was acting up. Old foot injury. Hmm. I don't remember any foot injuries. Yeah. Me neither. Old injury. He was all smiles yesterday. Yes, he smiled when he said we'd be fine as long as you're there, Trucy. Yes. Fine. We'll be fine. Here comes justice! I started my voice training at 5 this morning. Ooh, do some now! I want to see her right here! Huh? Oh, okay. <clears throat> my name is Apollo Justice, and I'm fine! I'm fine! <laughs> that sounds more like a self mantra than voice training. I'm fine, I'm fine! You know what I'm saying! Okay, yeah, it's just this guy. Uh, uh, good, good morning. Yo, sup? Hit me with the guilt. Hit me with the guilty verdict, G. See if I care. You just hang loose and let things go with the flow. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, not really. Walkie. Don't be running your mouth like that in there. See, that's the difference between me and you, old man. I ain't afraid of no pigs. Real G's can't keep it real till they spend some hard time in the pen. You have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Sounds like they've both been voice training too, Apollo. My worst fear is realized. The trial's starting, and I still haven't had a real talk with my client. time. Go time. Board is now in session for the trial of Waki Kitaki. Waki Kitaki. The defense is ready, your honor. I'll, uh, I'll take Gavin here. Or Clavier. You want to, yeah. Ready to rock and roll, air judge. 
definitely don't get German from him, but like, whatever. They decided that he was German. <laughs> they certainly did. It's him, the pr uh, guy from yesterday. He's a prosecutor? It's Mr. Gavin's brother. Long time no see, Prosecutor Gavin. Were you taking a leave of absence? Like, I had practiced a German accent, like, for Francisco a while ago, but I, I don't know if I still have that. I, I, like, uh, I look at this guy and go, he's Dante. <laughs> he's Dante? Uh, that's Dante. He's the rock and roll guy. He's got the same smug-ass look on his face. <laughs> you know that little band I started in my free time? Thing is, we got real popular. Hard to say, nine <laughs> to your fans. <laughs> this is gonna get weird. <laughs> This uh, is weird. When three of your singles go platinum, yeah. Hard to say nine oh, to your fans. Oh, he's he's when... like totally German. Hard to say nine, nine to, to your fans when three of your singles of go, your platinum, single go platinum, yeah. Platinum, yeah. See, I only got the like high pitched uh, caricature one. Yeah, the the, the egg had one. <laughs> Whatever fuck his name. Hard was. to say nine to your fans when three of your singles go platinum, yeah. That doesn't sound that right. <laughs> That's not, that doesn't, that doesn't fit his image. Like, I see him as, like, a, like, a rocker. Like, they, they, like, you know, he's, like, they, I, I believe he does have, like, a musical thing to him. Sure, um, but, like, he, they, like, that's, that's not smooth German, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. how, how, that impression, that caricature, uh, that accent. I, uh, but, yeah, I... Unless he's like a tryhard, not German guy pretending to be German. That's possible. Yeah, but his name is Clavier, right? Yeah, and I guess Kristoff is also German. Yeah. 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 Hmm. I see. To be honest, I was a little concerned. Your latest album kind of sucked, so I guess I see why you're back now. I feared that you might still be distraught over that one trial. Seven years ago. <laughs> Not to worry, Air Judge. <laughs> but... you're, gonna, you're gonna be like nervously laughing the whole time. Cause it's like, what is this voice? It's really it's it's so very... hard. What the fuck are you supposed to do for this guy? Like, it's like, yeah, it, it. Cause I, like, you look at him, he's like, hey. Not how's to it worry, going? Air Judge. I'm Dante from the Devil May Cry series. But, uh. This party's getting crazy. This party's getting crazy, yeah? Yeah? This part. Not to worry, Air Judge. I wouldn't miss this. I don't know. I, like. I wouldn't I, I, miss this day in court for the world. It's worth even more than VIP passes to one of my concerts, yeah? Okay, okay, there you go, there you go. How could I pass up a chance to see the true strength of the little boy who pestered my brother? Uh, I'm a man! <laughs> no, I'm trying to think, is, isn't there like a German term for little boy also? Like, not like for a line, but like, um... I don't know. I feel like it's a common expression. I, I, know, I know nothing. It's fine. <laughs> It was worth cancelling a show or two. Yeah, Moonlight. Understood. A, a Moonlight as a fucking prosecutor. <laughs> you may give your opening statements to the court. Before that, I was thinking. Is the air in this courtroom not a bit <laughs> serious? It, it is, is a court of law. It is a court of law. <laughs> That's no fair to get the crowd jumping at, Judge. They're not supposed to jump, but this is a courtroom. Action, baby! <laughs> Today we play it my way. Alright. Sure. 
I'll What's take that? It. What's that noise? Sometimes you have to get on. Get up on. In up. order to get down to prosecuting. <laughs> Banger alert. Hot single in my game? <laughs> this is crazy! Yes, sir! Exactly. This party's getting crazy. Hardcore! <laughs> is it, though? The victim, how- What? Oh, my God. How would I say- Okay. <laughs> Practice, how- the victim, Pal Maractus, director of the Maractus Clinic. What? <laughs> the scene, People Park. He was, he was, he was found pulling a noodle stand. What? <laughs> what in the world was a doctor doing pulling a noodle stand? Huh? Yeah, I believe. You will only find out that out by asking the defendants right here and now. Right here. Right here. Right now. Right now. <laughs> because it's undeniable. It's an undeniable truth that he shot the victim. What? Do you mean <laughs> undeniable? <laughs> you are to glare at anyone, Air Justice. Glare at the punk in the defendant's chair. His crime was witnessed quite clearly, you see. I want Francisca back. I want Francisca back. Alright, whatever. Very well. Please admit this witness to the court. This guy's such a fucking loser. <laughs> this Mine, guy's such a yet. fucking loser. First. There's a little matter to be cleaned up. It's a little something known as trying too hard, bro buddy. Bro, broter. Broter. <laughs> My broter. You talk. Could you talk without the accom the accompaniment? I swear I could see the guitar for a second. Shut up. What is it, Prosecutor Gavin? The motive, Air Judge. Why did the little puck do, <laughs> punk do it? Little puck. Little pucky boy. Why did he kill the director of Maracit <laughs> Fuck this Maractic. Clinic? Maractic's Maractic Clinic. Maractic's Clinic. Clinic. <laughs> mm, you spoke in English for a second there. Da. Ja. I mean. <laughs> hi. I, I wait, mean, yeah. wait, I'll get it. <laughs> I do like his point. And his sexy armpit folds. Objection! Not so fast. The defendant has to doesn't have to explain that. But what did the defendant specifically request it to do so, as he did this morning? I want to give a shout out to all my homies, I believe he said. I would never s spell homie such a way. Perhaps oh, they're homies. attempting to avoid, like, the term directly? Yeah, I don't know. Like, well, I guess like, it's spelled it that way. Yeah. But... What? <laughs> this is a kangaroo court. What is right? They always say that on stage. You should hit the crowd with speed and ferocity. <laughs> I just noticed your earrings. Very nice. Sounds like he got you good, huh, Polly? What the fuck is going on in this court? Well, this is highly unusual, but... The court will now hear from the defendant concerning his motive in the, in the crime. So, you, son... Are you the defendant? Walkie, are you? Judge, that is the most awkward sentence imaginable. What are you gonna say he next? He's looking- the defendant's though. looking at us. I think he wants to say something. 
<laughs> I hate your son, old man! You step to the Kataki, you best be prepared to step strong! You step to a public official, you best be prepared to step into jail! I like that he's like leaning over though, because it's the like how to talk to short people thing, and he's like leaning yeah. down at Apollo. You gotta hand it to him, Waki sure has guts. It's not like it's not his guts I'm worried about. Well then, the court will now hear testimony on the defendant's motive. From the defendant himself. Waki Kitaki's truth. I tell you one thing, that doctor was a quacker! Someone had to show him what's what! I was in his clinic about half a year ago. He messed up my ops something bad. And then he just lets me go without a word. See you later. Bye. So I gotta go in and get another doc to patch me up again. That was the day I done figured it out. No OG's gonna let that pass. That's why I went to his pad that night. Know what I'm saying? It, what is happening? You're saying you were one of the victim's patients? What is happening? A lot of stuff goes down when you're keeping it real on the street, true dat. I tell you one thing, that doc was whack! Okay, mm. Jesus. Very well, the defense may begin the cross-examination. Okay. I can't believe this is the first time I'm hearing about all this. Hello, whoever joined. It's me. It's Brad. Lucky it was Brad. Fuck me. Naruto oh, killed someone. Over ramen. Oh my god. I guess he fucking did. Ugh. Alright. There we go. This case is so fucking weird. I'll tell you one thing, that doctor was a quacker. First of all, the word you're looking for is quack. And isn't that a little harsh? He's your family doctor. Who asked you, pointy locks? Just who do you think you are? Uh, your lawyer? Look, I ain't trying to hear that. He was a quacker, plain and simple. Someone had to show him what's what. By someone you mean, was there anyone with a score to settle with this doctor? Besides you, I mean. You better ask somebody else, Holmes. What do I care? I made up my own mind and did what had to be done, straight gangsta style. Ugh. But why are you so mad at this doctor? Yo, sit back and listen while I drop it, J-Man. I was in his clinic about half a year ago. He messed up my ops something bad. So you were a patient at Mara Maractic's Maractus Clinic half a year ago? For what reason? Turn it down a little bit. I have what you might call a mark of honor. Can you explain precisely what was wrong? We had a little run in with the Ri the Rival the Rivals family. The Rivals family. The Rivals family. It should have been the, the um, It should have been the uh <laughs> Uh, wait, let me think if I can remember it. Cadaverinis. The Cadaverinis, yeah. That yeah, oh, yeah, should have yeah. been the Cadaverinis. That's when I pulled a jack move. Whoa! And ran into an ambush. She busted a cap right in me. According to my sources, you couldn't stand the stress of waiting and ran in the 15 minutes before the appointed time, by yourself. Hey, I was more than a match for those guys. So you were carried to the Maractus Clinic from there. Apparently, he was shot at the heart. Shot in the heart and he's still alive? He gives I can catch bad name. I can catch bullets between my teeth. Holy shit. 
Well, really, you really are your father's daughter, huh? But I never learned how to catch them with my heart. The bullet stopped just short of my thumper. You know what I'm saying? I would have been. It would have been golden if it weren't for that whack doc. Can't even take out a stupid bullet. Uh oh. So, as you say, this surgery was a failure. I need all of it, Holmes. And then he just let me go without a word. See you later. Bye. What do you mean he just let you go without a word? What do you think it means? It's whack. That's what. I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds bad. <laughs> it sounds doctor. as though I doctor. Doctor. <laughs> Turn off my rock inhibitor. <laughs> Yeah, doctor. Doctor. Fish to hide his mistake. Yeah. This is this is why he let this defendant go. He's a liar, straight up. He's a badder G than me. Pretty so I gotta G. go. So I gotta go in, get another doc to patch me up again. So this bullet is still. You know it. I can still feel it, right there in my chest, pressing up against my heart. Your words are like a bullet shot straight into my heart. Or something to that effect. Incidentally, that's from one of our hit singles. Wait, what did I miss here? I don't know, some fucking losers on the other side. <laughs> Uh, that apparently what, is a what, famous what, Brad, musician. What are, you, what are you confused about? Who's Clavier? It's, it's it's Christoph's it's brother. Gavin's brother. And you don't like they're, him? They're both Gavin. I don't know. He's kind of whatever so far. Well, that sound. Oh. Sounds like a straightforward case malpractice, my bad. Word, J Man. Word, no accident. That's faux shizzle. It's certainly a mid 2000s game. Hmm. It seems that there were issues with this doctor. Man, putting him down was like going doing the world a favor. Waki, please consult your lawyer before saying things like that. Chin up, Apollo. Back straight. But why did this mistake only come to light that day? It was found during the family health checkup. The f family checkup? That was the wackiest thing of all. All us G's lining up, taking eye exams and all that. Better to die young than fade away, bizzoy. <laughs> A relief to hear. I don't know, he's kind of hot. That's not the issue. Eh? What's a relief? Oh, did your father not tell you? That bullet you carry is outdated. So close to your, is outdated. <laughs> so close to your heart. If not attended to immediately, it could kill you. <laughs> Why? What? Yes, a <laughs> Dr. Maractus had knowledge concerning this ticking time bomb in you. Knowledge that could have saved your life. No way. Th th that's whacked. There is proof. Your checkup report. How ironic that you would kill the one man capable of helping you. See, now I want to stop doing the German accent because he hasn't said anything in German in a while. Yeah, like it's it's so it's so hard. Terrible. So because like he's saying doctor, just, which is German. He did say doctor. That is. His, but like, Herr is is uh, that's true. That's true. That's true. As well.
Is, that, Alex, is your issue with the characterization, or is it the issue that he's not Godot? <laughs> I, I just, I, I have him, no, nothing has like, there's nothing special about this guy yet that's like really endearing. Uh, like, so the problem's not Godot, because Godot's actually not my favorite. Um, the best prosecutor is, and probably always will be, Miles Winston Edward. Winston Payne. Oh. Winston Payne, the Tommy's right. Uh, no, like... The, the the clownery of Edgeworth, but then also in Rise from the Ashes, the like the genius of Edgeworth is unmatched. And like yeah. Francesca shows up and she's like stuck up genius. She's kind of a tryhard. She does her job. Whatever. She's fine. Godot shows up, he's a fucking mysterious weirdo, and you're like, yo, this guy okay, this guy's pretty cool. Weird gimmick still, but his theme's killer. And Everyone goes, what the fuck is with this guy, right? Like, everyone's kind of taking the piss out of it. And then this guy shows up, and he's kind of just been obnoxious so far. Granted, he's been on screen for five minutes. It's so true, it's true. Yeah, these yeah, are yeah. these are really just first impressions. I, he's, got a, he's got a killer theme, though. I'll, get, I'll give him that. He, he definitely had a really, really nice theme uh, a little while ago. He, he's, he's in a band, is the thing. <laughs> Yeah, a, a multi-platinum selling band. That's that's funny. Uh, how ironic that you would kill the one man capable of helping you. Let me let me check this evidence again. We got map. We got bowl. We got Trucy's panties. Nice. Don't worry about it. We have a random cell phone, mirror from car, fingerprint powder, Ractus's you know, could... autopsy report, knife, noodle you know what we stand, don't have, Alex? bloomers, hospital slippers. These bloomers sure have a distinct design. You certainly know who they belong to at a glance. You can read that? That way she doesn't have to write her name on them. You can read that? Genius. I would think writing your name would be easier than drawing a plum blossom. I knew what that was. Why course. do you have Tracy's panties? Ah, uh, they were stolen. Are you? Like me, Alex, no, or Apollo? Yes. No. They were found in a, uh... In a muffler. In a muffler in a car. And then Apollo goes, that sounds like a case that happened 10 years ago. And then Emma shows up. And she's like, upset. <laughs> Cause she's not a, she's not a forensic scientist. She's a fucking detective. That's funny. Yeah, here. Also this stupid motherfucker showed back up. Oh, Briefly. Man. Oh, Phoenix Wright got hit by a car, got sent 30 feet in the air and he's perfectly fine. That's part of this case. There's Emma. My per Dude, my perfect idiot Mood. detective. Touchy. Mood touchy. I touchy Mother. her. Her hair. I want to play with the little strands on the side. I want to tie him in a knot and run away. Yeah. And how ironic that you would kill the one man capable of helping you. <laughs> You're almost as careless as he was. I, if, if the brothers are ever on screen, someone should work on a Virgil impression. Dante. What? I just, I just hold my nose. Dante. Dante. <laughs> Bro, strong, Dante. Something my apologies, my apologies brother. He's so yeah, stuffy. Maybe I don't need it. Maybe Bro, I... strong. If you want it. You'll have to take it from me. But you already <laughs> knew that. My work. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to a thing. I, I, this case has been fucking bizarre. Uh, 
Yeah, all right. Basically, this guy didn't kill the guy um, because yeah. he had a knife and the guy was shot. And the guy was shot. And ironic, the Clavier just said what? It's ironic that you killed the guy that who had the, the one info who save, to save to you. Save your life. All right, yeah. cool. Well, now that's the place is hopping. Let's get this party started. <laughs> oh, to the max. Yeah, hardcore. Hardcore. Yeah, hardcore, hardcore to the max. Hard. Hardcore to the max. Is it though? All right, play the song. We've had enough time to warm up that. <laughs> We've had enough We've of, had a enough of a warm up act, yeah. John. Time to hear from the witness. No. Walkie sure is quite all, quiet all of a sudden. I'm a little uneasy myself. Is this Gavin's strategy? Just say shit constantly? Oh. No. <laughs> you will tell us your name and occupation. character. <laughs> you want him ready? Let's just um, not voice him. <laughs> we we haven't second. gone with the option of just not voicing a character. Hold on a second, hold on. Hold, hmm. Hmm. Zoolander, 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 Zoolander. Fuck, what does he sound like? My name is Wesley Stickler. <laughs> eh. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. He's, he's got the maybe, he's got the the maybe, pouty like model face. Maybe it's like a yawning sound where it's like my name is Wesley Stickler. My name. Mm, I don't know. And supports a livelihood under which definition I must confess to being unemployed. However, we must acknowledge the meaning of identity, which is commonly attached to the notion of occupation, and once we have accepted this reality, we can see that our confusion is not gestalt per se, but derives from the vagueness inherent in the representation of- Shut the fuck up. I bet she means to say that he is a student. He gra he's graduating, apparently. A junior uh. at Ivy University, if I'm not mistaken. That's where Phoenix went, right? Uh, it's where someone went. I think that's. I think. I think. I think about school. Was. University of Texas. That's some Prissy <laughs> Ivy University. Yeah, it's, it's also possible Wellington mentioned going there. Uh, Could have gone pro. Could have gone pro. Secuter. <laughs> Could have gone pro. Secuter. <laughs> yes, in the Department of Science and Engineering. Filled with curiosity for all things. Oh, give him the Mikolish voice. Yeah, I'm about to say yeah, give, him Mikolash. The give him the Mikolash voice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Filled with curiosity uh -huh. for all for things. I spend awesome. my days in pursuit of truth, honing my. Uh -huh. you can also, you, yeah, you can also uh -huh. give him the uh, Squidward the uh, plugged up nose voice. It's true. We serve. Is that air stickler or like would you air pronounce stickler. it? Air stickler. Air stickler. Air. Air. Air stickler. Please direct that curiosity to the case at hand today. I don't think I've read a single thing these characters have said. Very well, Mr. Stickler. Like this case has been so unconventional so far. I haven't had time to like get into mystery detective mode at all. Uh, we, were, we were kind of thrown into the case because we were doing other things during the investigation. Yeah, that weren't right? that engaging either. Oh, however, they're gonna matter because it's like the noodle stand, the panties. Yeah, you know, it's gonna. Yeah, it's I'm, all gonna come together. It, it will somehow. come together. Yeah. Please testify to the court about what you saw on the night of the crime. Very well. You ask quite simplicity what I saw. However, we must understand that Homo sapiens possess two eyes. These designs receive and interpret data, sending messages for. Th yep. <sighs> eyes, he says. Oh, oh. We only have two. Line our brain with we eyes. Need more. No. Our eyes have yet to open. Just as the provost Willem did. Is
Is this the like, ugliest uh, character? No. No? No, yeah, no there were ugly No, Luke at, Luke at me is perfect. Luke at me is perfect. Luke at me is fucking perfect. I love everything about Luke at me. That's night, I passed through the park on my way home from shopping. And I saw them. One man pulling a stand, another man <laughs> chasing him. Give him the Rahul voice. The what? Huh? The Rahul voice. Ah, <laughs> Guardian. Uh, ah. <laughs> One man pulling a stand, another man facing him. I saw them quite clearly. The man facing the victim was the defendant. Eh, I kind of like what Tommy was doing. Yeah, what are they saying? Cool. I saw them quite clearly. The man facing the victim was the defendant. In his hand, he held... Yes, a pistol! It was pointed at the man pulling the stand. A, a frog on a log in the... <laughs> a shot! A shot! The bullet hit the man pulling the stand from the front square in the forehead. Wrong! Hmm. Was there anyone else in the park at that time? I can say with 100% accuracy that there was not. You a mage? Are you graduating mage. every day at school? <laughs> Are you that good? The pistol of fitness refers to- Oh my to god, Clavier, get down! He's <laughs> gonna be shot! Clavier, get down! The court accepts this into evidence. And very well, Mr. Justice. You may cross-examine Escape the route witness. activated! Die! <laughs> Die! Bang! Bang! Oh my god, bang. Oh, you can see the interior, that's gonna be like the bullet forensics thing. Oh my god. The bullet uh. fingerprint, you know what I mean? Whoa! Don't <laughs> point that thing at me! Don't worry, I can handle myself around guns. <gasps> She's holding it! <laughs> She's holding it! Magic guns, at least, the ones that pigeons come out of. Uh, have you guys ever seen that movie, uh, The Prestige? No. No. No, oh, it's great. Uh... Yeah, don't do gun magic tricks, boys and girls. Uh, no, I, I didn't. I didn't plan on it. What about Pal and Teller? Pal and Teller? Yeah. Shut um, the fuck. <laughs> you need to shut, shut the, the, the fuck, fuck up. That's really funny. Like that. That's actually a really, really nice Easter egg. Uh, because like you might be like, oh, there's nothing on there, but like if you specifically. Yeah, yeah, you have to, like, specifically look at the barrel while it's pointing at you. That's pretty good. Well, Mr. Justice, you may cross-examine the witness. Okay. Uh, Trucy? Why are you staring like that at the witness? That man. I can't help but feel I've seen him somewhere before. Well, the panty thief, Oh, he's perhaps. the panty thief. Yeah, he looks like a panty thief. How do you feel about these? S sweats. Breaks the stand with his erection. Let's not, uh, let's not project too hard here. Shut up! That night I passed through the park on my way home from shopping when I saw them. On the way home from shopping, you say? Why go through the park? Oh, fascinating inquiry. Revealing me culpable. Culpable of culpable. culpable. Revealing me culpable of, of being insufficiently verbose. Insufficiently verbose. Of being insufficiently verbose, let me consider the time saved by passing through the park on the way home from the store. In that time, I am capable of solving two GMAT problem sets. GMAT? Garfield math. Gee, I wish Matt would show up to the stream. <laughs> How's the deal? 
On average, it requires me three go, minutes to try to go for you. However, in, in the case that the questions are only verbal quality, <laughs> admittedly not my. Shut the fuck up! Mr. Justice, the court hopes to finish cross examination sometime this month. <laughs> got it again. Please. Please. I have a recording booked after this trial. And I've got a show to perform. Gee, sorry you're all so busy. <laughs> One man pulling a stand, another man facing him. Are these men talking by any chance? Oh, now that you mention it, they were, though I cannot claim I heard them clearly. Only fragments, such as, you lied to me, oh, you I oh! I'm going to give you a taste of your own medicine, pal! Oh my god! Wait! The it real killer! <laughs> it was Gumshoe, no! <laughs> I had to do it, pal. A lot happened in seven years. That was a bastard. Yeah, Justice. Pal. Sometime. Yeah. What's her name? Fuck. Yeah. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Um. His girlfriend? What's the, what's the sister's, what's Emma's sister's name? At Lana. I almost said Lotta. Kill me. Lotta. <laughs> Lotta Sky! Uh, Lana was right. You can feel the, the... All right, I'm done with this joke. <laughs> I'm done with this joke. We're moving on. <laughs> it's just as our defendant claims. I believe he wished to teach the victim what it felt like to take a bullet in the heart. If that's true, then this is a vital piece of testimony. Sounds like you heard them clearly enough to me. Might I be allowed to amend my testimony? But but now. Oh, to be precise, he did not say pal, but man. Woo! I was worried. I was worried. I was worried. Yes, that was the way I swear it on my diploma. Which one? What's the difference? And this as a man. Who was he? What is a man? Something quite clearly, the man facing the victim was the defendant. How can you be so sure it was the defendant? The crime took place at night. It would have been too dark. Perhaps I was remiss in not mentioning this earlier. You see, in class, I always sit in the very backmost seat. Next to the window. Like a protagonist in my anime. Do you know why? I just told you. <laughs> <laughs> you do know why now. Who cares? Because I do not wish anyone to copy my perfect notes. Are you stupid? It's easy. Never mind. And this relates to your testimony. How? Like, you can't see shit from the person in front of you. It, it's always left, it's always to your side that you would cheat from. Not that I ever right, have on right. any test ever. I mentioned this to illustrate my predisposition to that which is perfect. It was dark, you say, yet there are lights in the park. If I say that a defendant was in the park that night, he was in the park that night. It is hard, immutable fact. He sure is confident. He seems to be telling the truth too. In his hand, he held, yes, a pistol. It was pointed at the man pulling the stand. Are you sure the pistol you saw is the same as the one you submitted as evidence? I am sure, surely you just. Oh, 
So a common witness would be tempted to say... Huh? God, it's so creepy when he looks up. <laughs> Yet I am no common witness. I see not only events as they are, but the logical structures governing these events. Sir, are you reading a Shonen Jump? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> First, we must consider the fact As you that know, Hunter Hunter requires a very high IQ to understand. <laughs> Whatever. I think he means he couldn't see it that clearly. Thanks, Trucy. My badge for a normal witness. The fact that the pistol was fired before my eyes is indisputable. I can still see it when I close my eyes. The defendant raised his weapon. It was an Evelyn. It was an Evelyn. <sighs> A shot. The bullet hit the man pulling the stand from the front, square on the forehead. Wrong. You sure about that? Oh, are you absolutely certain only one shot was fired? No. Yes, of course it was one shot. Why do you ask? Aha! Or some A say, contradiction. ask him. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Stickler, Stickler, um, according to the court record, the pistol was fired twice. Wait, was it? Two rounds fired. Bang. Bang. Your prints were wiped. Okay. Objection! Objection! That's just, that's just an English guy! That's just, that's just a white guy! <laughs> He's fucking what? putting on the German accent to be cooler than he is! You're a I phony! You're a phony, Clavier! <laughs> I cool. bet you don't even sing! Real cool. <laughs> <laughs> you really think so? No. Yeah, there is no reason why this other shot had to have been fired that night. Meaning? This pistol came from the Kitaki family mansion, yeah? I think it's not unreasonable to assume the pistol had been fired once or twice that night. Once before that night. Once before that night. <laughs> During perhaps another altercation. Is that a point? Judging from his smug expression. I'd say Prosecutor Gavin had that answer ready before you even spotted the problem. He seems pretty confident in his testimony. You always make the biggest mistakes when we're all, uh, we always make the biggest mistakes when we're our most confident. He's got a weak point somewhere, Apollo. Find it. Yep. And we're gonna go a little, uh, go over here. Forehead and uh, take this forehead. And, uh, take this, because uh, that is uh, oh, wrong! What's up, Brad? I was saying uh, L plus ratio plus uh, your brother's in jail plus um, no bitches. Oh, oh. Plus, plus, plus German, plus your music sucks. Plus German is definitely a big one. Mm -hmm. Woo! That's all of it. I think I have a chance. Is that you? <laughs> Relaxing, I see edges this. <laughs> oh, all right. <clears throat> OBJECTION! Once is quite enough, Mr. Justice. Apollo, pace yourself. This trial's not over yet. Whoa! Oh, right? Hmm. <clears throat> um, look at this. The autopsy report. Is there a problem with the autopsy report? Um, right, a problem, uh, problem, 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 uh, yes! Uh, the problem is the location of the entry wound. The location? Yeah. You testified that the killer shot the victim square in the forehead, did you not? Ah, uh, I have already determined your angel. 
Oh, inquiry. <laughs> See, it's actually angle. I thought, you know, it'd be funny, though. Allow me to explain it for... Oh, no, he's doing this shit. Square. What do uh, I mean by this? You know, for example, the example, section. The, the yeah. section. A million wavelength the light of the Krypton particle. The Krypton particle? Uh-huh. Krypton particle. Uh -huh. Basic fallacy. I grant yes, 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 yes. Sa save it Justice. for Reddit. <laughs> yeah. What's your objection to these er uh, Krypton particle things? No. This is a big. This is the big time, and you are obsessed with something so small. You disappoint me. No, I'm obsessed with something big. I mean, there's a bigger, less nitpicky problem here. You tell. Just look at the autopsy report. The location of the entry rune was the right temple. Temple? What's that? I don't know. Is that where the Grand Lake of Mud is? Mm hmm. Mr. Stickler, you said quite clearly that the victim was shot. Square in the forehead. Get in now from sight. That's a contradiction. Isn't it? It is, right? Finally. Objection! Objection! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> air justice! Oh, air justice! I, I think that's more fitting. I like, I like the voice better. Yeah, like, he's not like nervous, giggling, like, happy German guy, you know? Right. Dude, so it's just German. like, Air Justice, ho, oh, Air Justice. I think he's just saying German words to be a tryhard. It's like my well, great I mean, my great grandfather was German, so. <laughs> yes? I was gonna say, Your tactics are outdated. outdated! Trying to shake the witness by objecting to trifles. He said something wrong, you dumbass. Surely you haven't forgotten! Okay, well don't the show, you're, you're peeking on your mic! <laughs> oh. The fatal wound your master suffered seven years ago. What? Phoenix Wright, was it? What does that have to do with anything? Look, I know the wound was in the wrong place according to this testimony! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, air forehead. Uh, but forehead. Let us imagine you are walking through the park. You see two men facing each other, one with a pistol trained on the other. What would you do, air forehead? Well, I guess, I guess I would try to stop them. I'd probably shout stop. And you, Froline? Me? Well, I'd probably scream eek. And you, a stickler? And you, a oh, oh. And what did you shout, I wonder? Ah. The victim turned his head at the last moment. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for jogging my memory. I'm still asleep, so I won't forget. <laughs> it's true. It sounds like an addendum to the testimony is required. <sighs> as soon as the killer raised his pistol, I, I took action. I augured of every to his ass. <laughs> Did it twice too A call well. beyond as well for good measure. No one knows how to Cease dodge that. At once you two, I cried with composure. <laughs> the victim turned in the direction of my voice, and a shot rang out. Whereupon our cowardly killer, the defendant, appeared to have become frightened. Tossing the pistol aside, he fled from the scene.
I see. So you attempted to stop the crime. Indeed. With composure. Well, maybe the criminal wouldn't have fired if he hadn't shouted like that. Hmm, it doesn't really matter now, unfortunately. Let us consider this new testimony, shall we? Observe. Observe the diagram, if you would. I love the diagrams. God, that witness is the fucking witness. close. Jesus. The yeah, wait. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Close enough to shoot the guy in the temple. You know what I'm saying? Close enough. The witness, Mr. Stickler, was it, stood here. He shouted, Oh, stop, please, or something of this nature. And the victim responded by looking in the witness's direction. The killer were to have fired at this moment. As we can see, the bullet would have struck the right temple, as in the report. That does seem to be the case. Witness the power of a junior in Ivy University Department of Science. I thought you were in engineering. I'm not paying attention. Very well, Mr. Justice. You may cross-examine the witness. I don't want to. <laughs> All right, I will. I need. I need to get paid. Is that a funny thought? Yeah. Voice the guy like fucking Rikard. I swear it's the killer. Raise his pistol. I got a sword in my throat. <laughs> So you saw a raised pistol. Weren't you frightened? It can be said we students of Ivy University know no fear. The moment I saw that pistol, my inner sense of justice compelled me to take action. Yeah, all the students at Ivy University have to watch out for falling, uh, loose live wires. <laughs> or, you know. Or Phoenix just, Wright. Or just people shooting up. Or, well, that goes without saying. <laughs> that was certainly brave of you. All right, but what if they all shoot up the school at once? And is that a battle royale? Yes. <laughs> That's that was terrible. That was an awful joke. I mean, you you no, you answered my question. That's yeah, maybe we shouldn't keep making school shooting jokes. Let's move on. Yeah, let's move on from this. You might have gotten shot. Well, they teach us how to deal with it in school now. Fuck. Fuck. That's so sad. Fuck, dude. that's so that sucks. Yeah, like, my mom's a preschool teacher, and she was telling me the other day of, like, they had someone come in t talking about, like, how to deal with these people, if it if it comes to it. Uh, and the answer apparently is run around and scream, throw stuff, uh, and throw stuff. Uh, because, like, when they're- since they're usually so mentally unsound, the moment their plan goes awry, like, they kind of just, like, lose it, and, like, hey, they might still just fucking kill you, because that's the thing, but, like, it apparently has a better chance of working than otherwise. Ugh. It's something at all, is the idea. But yeah. And if you're running away, make sure to run left and right. Do, oh, so, do, do some fat dodge rolls while you're at it. One of these days, you gotta remind me to unpack my, um, my, uh, shooting scenario religious trauma from my days back in Bible school. That's a fun story. I don't think I've ever heard this. Because I repressed it. And we just unlocked it? Um, it, I unlocked it about six months ago. Ooh. Oh, God. It's a good one. It's a real good You, you pro, I have a feeling. Well, go! Talking. Just go! go. Okay, Wait, let's yeah. hear it. I was at. I was. This is for some clarification. I used to be very, very religious. I used to attend church regularly. Um, yeah. I am now an atheist. Um, but at the time, I was maybe like 12 years old. And we went on a mission trip with my youth group to some fucking, I don't know, I think we were in Illinois or some shit, right? Um, sure. Helping out, you know, local 
communities, building stuff, yep. painting houses, yada yada. yada. You yeah, know I, I, I've been on one of those. I've been on one of those um, to Georgia. I went, yeah, I went on like three. Um, I went on one and said this sucked. I had a fun time. And I'm lazy. And I had yeah, like I no know. one, none of my friends went with me, so I was stuck with a bunch of people in my youth group that I didn't really know. Yep. So it wasn't a good time. But basically, during the youth group pastor that we had with us, his name was Terry. Um, I'll never, I'll never forget the guy. Uh, he typically, uh, sorry, he typically um, taught or did like you know sermons and sessions with the more adolescent students, right? Yeah. Um, but. I kind of was just lumped into this as, as I was there. My brother was there too, right? And because my older brother was there, I kind of was lumped into the group of older kids. Sure. Um, right. It's just, it's just was, what you had. Yeah. yeah. Despite the fact that I was not mature for my age at all, I was very wimpy and very scared of a lot of stuff. Like, I was not like a. Yeah, you were homeschooled school. also, I was, which, yeah, I was which very, matters very a lot. Socially, very, very socially awkward and, and kind of inept at that point. Yeah. Which is wild. Um, and I remember we were having this kind of like fireside chat, quite literally. Um, and our, our our pastor was telling me this story about how there was an incident about a like a school shooter or a shooter or of some kind, a mass shooting that happened, in which the person specifically targeted people who were of the faith, right? Ah. And he would ask people as he was going to kill them if they believed in God. And the story was is that if, you know, the, the students who said yes would just be killed, right? Uh-huh. And the whole moral of this was that, you know, after seeing someone answer yes to the question and then die, um, he recounts of it being brave kind of right to like say yes to not forsake your belief in god in the face of death right whole thing, right that was pretty traumatizing because not only do i kind of not like the idea of death and the abstract idea of death despite being an atheist um well no one wants 12 to die year me, 12 year old 12 year old me at the time thought that was horrifying and that question constantly was on my mind all the time just like if someone gun to your head so, right wh yeah, what would you I answer would i would lie i would fucking I would, lie I, I would lie and that made me feel so fucking bad about myself well it's a coin it's a coin toss really it's like are they killing because they're uh no, religious lunatic the or are they anti-religious yeah. lunatic so i I think it was it was supposed to be anti-religious lunatic will kill people if you believe in God, etc. Et was cetera. this a true story or was this a thing your pastor was telling so that so, you would like quite like to uh, literally question your your resolve and your faith? That's where it gets fun. Uh -huh. I saw your pastor was this person and he pulled a gun out on you. <laughs> Do you remember Kaylee? I won't say her last name, but Kaylee. Of course. Uh, so uh, I follow Kaylee on Twitter. Uh, uh, of course I do. Um, <laughs> and Kaylee is, um, I won't espouse too much about her life, but I uh, went through very similar stuff, right? Lots of kind of uh, early life religious Catholic trauma. Okay, hold on. Um, Which fucking Kaylee? A. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was like, what? Yeah. Okay, sure. Um, and I there's a lot. I've known so many goddamn Kayleys. <laughs> I've only known like one. She posted. Oh, bullshit. Anyway, this really go on. No, <laughs> I, 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 I will recount this later. Okay, this does not matter she, now. <laughs> she posted about the time that her pastor told her that story, and I was like, and you're "Wait, like, a wait, minute. what?" I was like, "Wait, are you fucking serious?" And I messaged her about it, and we talked about it. Uh -huh. and I was like, "Dude, like." that messed with you as much as it did me and she was like absolutely this like fucked me up for oh a my long god time. and she's like and the story's not even real it's fake oh it's of course that, yeah that, something that pastor was used to to sort of you know put that fear into um you know young children huh uh, yeah no my pastor so, was nice he just like we just like, played funny wrong. games with like slime don't get me wrong Terry was nice. He was a great guy. He uh -huh. was super cool, super chill. We'd all laugh when he would be like, you know, shit sometimes. Or we'd be like, hee hee hee, oh my god, the pastor said a curse word. Um, 
he was he was a cool guy but like Again, hearing that, that it was like, man, it wasn't just me. Other people heard this fucked that, up story. Yeah, I've never heard that. that like, traumatized me for huh. years and made me... And it probably is one of the reasons that I, I don't believe in God now. Is because, at that time, I was like, no, I wouldn't say yes. My faith doesn't mean that much to me. Yeah. Right? And this kind of led to the path of me realizing that, you know, I huh. didn't really believe in that at all. Um, so I played a couple of SMT back. games and it all fell apart. That's and, I, true. and I was like, oh, I'm not allowed to believe in God anymore. Anyway, <laughs> moving on Brad, with my I, life. I'll, I'll, I'll say, I remember you telling me the story, Brad, around the time when I first met you. Yeah. yeah. No, I, 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 didn't, I didn't remember, but I remember now. You, yep. you have told me this before. Yep. It, um, it is... Yeah, I, I totally forgot about it for such a long time. But but when I met you, Tommy, I was still... You were so religious, I'm, yeah. I'm obsessed with being religious, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but obviously I've changed a so so much it's funny like you and I were but, both like still kind of like loosely Methodist until and we got out of high school and it just kind of fell off L plus fell off but yeah it just kind of fell off I don't know I learned some good stuff there's some good yeah. teachings in there and whatnot but yeah I liked my youth group anyway yeah. who's this stickler guy Are you ready to meet God? <laughs> you ain't from Michigan if you haven't done this. You ain't from Michigan if you ain't done this before. Hell, eternal death. What what, what the fuck is it? It's on the back Rebel of the van, one. and it's uh yeah, it's it's the it's the fighting game intro. Oh, just <laughs> just ask Cavalier, he'll know. Oh yeah, he Rebel will know. One. Rebel one. All right, anyway. Ah, oh, he's lucky. You certainly were lucky. <laughs> <laughs> you were lucky. Oh, uh, he's lucky. Shot in the it, head. It, 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 oh, he's lucky you didn't get shot in the head. <laughs> like, why after all these years are we quoting this plague video so much? I don't know why it happened. <laughs> <laughs> if I were in the killer shoes, I certainly wouldn't have left a witness behind. <laughs> I would have fucking uh -huh. killed you. <laughs> ah! oh. Wait, why do you have Grimoire Vice? It had, like, the egg face on it from near. Mm. He actually looks like he had no idea he was in danger. Regardless, I attempted to halt the bloodshed. Cease! This at once, you two, I cried with composure. Are you sure both men were able to hear your voice? They were, of course. My high, exquisite voice echoed through the park. And the victim responded to that clarion call. Quite. Let me know if you can hear me eating on mute. <laughs> the victim turned in the direction of my voice and a shot rang out. Hey, is that Emma? Nom, 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 nom. Do you, do you hear the gunshot? Uh, did you hear the gunshot at the same time that the victim turned his head? Indeed. I would say about the same time, to be precise. And the victim didn't ask you for help? He was dead. <laughs> yep. It can be said that he didn't have time to ask. He didn't even have time to take a single step. I'm totally sure that the killer fired because Mr. Stickler startled him. Don't say that too loud, Trucy, please. Whereupon our cowardly killer, the defendant, appeared to have become brighter. Oh! Uh. <laughs> Can you describe the killer's actions more clearly? No! He seemed quite surprised, especially considering that it was he who did the deed. As we can see, human psychology is a tangled web indeed. He simply couldn't believe what he had done. He shot, he panicked, calm and tail true. Unfortunately, before I could take further action, Tossing the pistol aside, he fled from the scene. 
You didn't try to apprehend the criminal? No, we had a gun, asshole. Why do you think I want to die? It all happened so fast. I'm afraid I hadn't the time. Doesn't something about that strike you as odd, Apollo? What? The killer was in a hurry, right? He fired the pistol and tossed it right away. According to the testimony, that's what happened, yes. In that case, I'd expect to find something that we didn't find. Find something... Find what? The gun. I like that contradiction. Kind of sad to see it go. Not as sad as I feel. What do we do now? At least the testimony is getting a little clearer. She's right. Maybe I can find something to use in this new testimony. Okay. As soon as the killer, as soon as the killer raised his pistol, I took action. Ceases at once, you two, I cried with composure. The victim turned in the direction of my voice and a shot rang out. Whereupon our cowardly killer, the defendant, appeared to have become frightened. Okay. Tossing the pistol aside, he fled from the scene. It sounds like it's on this one. The fingerprints were wiped. So yeah, the fingerprints were the fingerprints are wiped. wiped right? it, yeah, I don't it, know if it's necessarily this one, no, but it's definitely, it's definitely gonna be this. I, I think it's that. I think it's this one. Tossing the pistol aside, he fled from the scene. Yeah, like. Yeah, okay, okay. Too fast. He, he did it too fast if the if the prints were wiped. Wait! Choto Mate Kudasayo! Disk, disk. Another misleading request. Should I stop reading porn in the middle of your testimony? Fine. Wait, was it's that not me? pornography. <laughs> oh, you were talking to me. Ha, huh? good, nice. Erotic um, literature. Well. Yet you're so beholden to your own mode of discourse, you can't see how it affects you. It reminds That's right, this is a call-out post. <laughs> it's a call-out post for Twitter user uh, XX Miles Edgeworth <laughs> XX. <laughs> he I'm, fucked I'm, my wife, uh, that's right. <laughs> And I lit him. God, am I happy he did. Um, God, what are we fucking saying? This is kangaroo stream. I'm so <laughs> uninvested in this case. Yet you're so beholden to your own mode of discourse. You can't see how it affects you. Um, come again. Wait a second. You say a second? Next should be said Chodomate, guess I. Are you be intending to wait just that? A single second? One sixteenth of a minute? That's a sixtieth. That would be really funny if it was one sixteenth, though. Uh, I, yeah, I was, I was like thinking to myself, that's not right. That's not right. But that's what I had read. Sixteenth. <laughs> sixtieth. Sixtieth. That's hardly enough time to draw a breath, let alone may make a statement in court. You can never play fighting games. That was an auto-scroller. Yeah, no, he, he wasn't saying anything. Yeah, your honor! Am I to understand you are objecting to the length of a second? Yes! I mean, no! Here, just look at this pistol! Oh my god, Judge, get down! <laughs> <laughs> Bailiff, cover me! Oh my god! <laughs> That's, That's where that funny. image comes from! <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> oh my god! They did that on purpose. They did that on purpose. <laughs> I've seen that image before. It doesn't have a That's single funny. fingerprint on it. And then, then you, you put, you put Phoenix's. Uh, I assure you, it's quite based, mirrored to the other side. And then it's like the uh, what's the what's the fingers touching painting that's so so famous? Oh, oh the creation of Adam. Creation. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's that. But with a gun. Oh, it's funnier. Ah, oh, a common ploy <laughs> to frighten me with a gun, <laughs> made by all the more common. I fear by the prevalence of television. What is he saying? I don't fucking know. Uh -huh. A common ploy made all the more common, I fear, by the prevalence of television. 
all the more common, I fear. Criminals these days are loath to ling fingerprints. Mm hmm. Wait, but you said the killer tossed the gun and ran. That's right! He didn't have time to wipe the gun for prints! Uh, the little girl sticking to it, sticking it to the university student. <laughs> There's a song in there. Your gimmick sucks. I'm not little! <laughs> <laughs> then let's think like adults, shall we, Fraulein? Huh? What if the killer, the defendant, was wearing gloves? Shit, it's me. Shit. Gotta admit, didn't think of that, Apollo. Me neither. Well, Mr. Justice? Could the killer have been wearing gloves? No. No. Because there's fingerprints on the knife. I guess. No way. No way. I almost said it, I guess. <laughs> the record of the murder weapon is very clear about one thing. The fingerprints were wiped, which means some trace of prints remained. Which contradicts your testimony. If everything happened as you s say it did, he wouldn't have had time to wipe the pistol. That may be. But it does not change what I saw. The killer. The defendant. He threw down the murderous weapon from his hand and fled. Making a fish noise. Oh, look at his nostrils. Ugh. Sniffy sniffy. Sniff, those, sniff the panties with. Sniff the panties with. Yeah, exactly. Panty rig? The panty raid. What? Okay, what was the... There was something in some video game where we saw that there was just something named panty raid. It was really funny. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I don't remember. Was it a Phoenix Wright game? That sounds like a weird pun they would put in something no 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 name. no it was it was like it was like an mmo or something or like a multiplayer game like it, it was it might have been like a clan and destiny or something uh, i don't remember the exacts but it was it was really funny oh fuck mm. maybe, maybe it was, it was like, halo or destiny i don't remember the exacts i'll have to i'll have to think about it because it like it fit really well for some reason and I don't remember the specifics. Well, more on that eventually. Oh my god! Oh my, he's don't, gonna kill don't, himself. Don't get down. <laughs> and this pistol was found at the scene of the crime. Strongly suggesting that this was the weapon he disposed of. That sounds solid to me. Well, air forehead, any of your precious objections? What gives, Apollo? Let's see Let's see that voice training go to work. You know, I've only recently realized something. No matter how much you train your voice, it doesn't matter if you have nothing to say. What do you mean, nothing to say? Isn't it obvious from what the witness just said? Huh? Isn't what obvious? When he restated what he saw just now, he said he saw Waki drop a murderous weapon. But that's not the same as being 100% sure of what Waki threw away. You're right. He's just confused because a pistol was found at the scene. Poor Mr. Stickler. It must be hard to be so perfect and yet so wrong. Well, I can be said that it can be I'm said. quite offended. It can, it can be, be said, said that, that I'm, I'm quite, quite offended. offended. Well, it is indeed true that the season of the teacher of the past of war might be perfect of the issue. Shut the fuck up! What we can say for certain is that the witness saw the killer throw Nanika. Nanika. Does the defense have anything to say about this? Yeah, here, catch. Ah! 
Well, if, he, if what he threw away wasn't a pistol, then it had to be something else. At least one person on the defense team seems to be thinking. It's true, Apollo's been lacking. Urgh, I'll wipe that smile off your pretty face, Gavin. Perhaps you can inform the court as to the nature of this something else. What did the killer throw away before fleeing the scene? Giant panties. Giant panties. Some my, my, I must, uh, I should take those to examine them myself as the judge. Anyway, here's a knife. Is that a sword? I have always wanted a Japanese katana. Oh, that's a Tonto, Your Honor. Ah, uh, damn. <laughs> I, <laughs> I saw one of those <laughs> on the late night movie last night. Great, a sleep-deprived judge. The knife was found at the scene of the crime, with the defendant's prints on it. His prints? The single piece of evidence proves two important things. One, that what the defendant threw down was not a pistol. Two, that the defendant wasn't wearing gloves. Hmm, indeed. <laughs> oh, air forehead. Forgetting two other things you've just proven. Huh? One is that the man, the vit. <laughs> I almost want to slide a couple uh, like just vit like, but yeah, it's, I don't just, think it's gonna work. Just do it naturally. Uh. The man the witness saw was the defendant, Mr. Rocky Kataki. Yeah. Two, that the defendant was. M oh, is he chewing gum? What was that? What? He had like a speech thing for a second. I never, I never noticed that. Uh, it's snap. Snapping his fingers. It's match. It no, no, look. Uh, I mean, his mouth moved. Oh, I'll pay attention. Yeah, yeah. His mouth moved at the start of the dialogue. I, 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 I never noticed that before. Uh, two. The defendant was holding a knife with the intent of harming the victim. Yeah, but that's not murder. Could have been like, yeah. Oh shit. Hmm. Mm. Indeed. Never underestimate a Gavin is the lesson here. This court is of the opinion that our witness is fond of making assumptions. In that light, I believe it would behoove us to hear about what really occurred. With less assuming, please. It is always the same with you people. Nice. It's fine, this fucker's on screen. Mark left the house on foot, and five minutes later, his brother left after him. How long would it take for Mark's brother to catch up to him? Assuming that Mark never had to stop for a traffic light. Assuming. Yes, that's what I said, assuming. As if that were a probable situation at all. <laughs> Yet here you are assuming that my assumption is no better. God, you're a mess. Um, what this court assumes is that the witness will testify as to what happened after the shot was fired. All right, fine. Fuck you, people. I could not prevent the killer from leaving the scene. Nor could I simply leave the scene in good conscience. Ergo, I used my cell phone to call the police. I mean to say, Ergo. Yeah. Just like his role model, Miles Edgeworth. X -X no, the police X -X arrived the scene ten minutes later. I saw no one else. Why didn't you chase the killer? Not his fucking job. He was, as you say, a killer. Oh, oh good point. Of course I could have run him down. Yet what would he have done when cornered? Sadly, it takes more than an aptitude for solving quadratic equations to know that. Hmm. 
did the testimony earlier not prove the defendant's presence at the scene? Yeah, he just he just has lip flaps. Yeah, no, yeah but actually, it's everyone like, does. I just never really noticed that. Yeah, because you're you're looking at the dialogue while it's happening. Yeah. And do we not also know that there was no one else there? Yeah, and do we all? And do we not also now also know? No, no. Fuck you, Flavor. There, there was, was no one, no else, one there. else there. Else <laughs> there. It seems clear that we have our killer. <laughs> Does it not? Does it not, Mr. Justice? That's right. I better find a way to take this testimony down quick. I cannot prevent the killer from leaving the scene. Which way did the killer run? At that time, it was clear the killer had noticed me. Naturally, he ran in the opposite direction. That would mean he ran in the opposite direction from the Kitaki Mansion. A ching. What's he saying tong, here? Actong, absolutely. That's right. Actong. I think. Well, yeah. what's, that, what's that word? It's German. I, I just don't know what that means. No. Oh, it's just action. Oh yeah, it's just action, isn't it? Action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Action. Yeah. Action. <laughs> don't even think about pointing out that he was going away from his home. All he had to do was loop back once he was out of sight. Hey, uh, how did he know that's where I was going? Nor can I simply leave the scene in good conscience. You were certainly composed for someone who had just witnessed a killing. If one is to devote one's life to the pursuit of science... One must never flinch at the sight of a little blood. Akdung, by the way, is like attention or like danger or like watch out. Okay. Um, attention. Akdung. Attention, Akdung, so duelist. By a chemical discovery that one drops oh, one's duelist. flask upon the lab room floor. My hand is communicating with the duelist. Oh, cool uh, answer. Cool answer, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Unlike me. Hmm. So nothing strange about how he acted. Trucy looks like she has something to say. This guy reminds me of James Charles. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> yeah, that's that's on the money, I think. Uh, the YouTuber, TikToker, Instagrammer, I don't know. Influencer, that's the word. He is a makeup artist and influencer. Well, yeah, when he does his, like, pouty face, he, he looks like this. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's James Charles. Wasn't your first thought to call the ambulance? Wasn't your first thought to call an ambulance, Mega Man? Dougie Jinker. Fuck Dougie Jinker. <laughs> It can be said that I have dabbled in medicine. The injury I witnessed, namely a single shot to the head, tends to result in death. Can we get Lada on screen? I'm I'm tired of this fucker. <laughs> this guy sucks. Ergo, there was no need for me to call an ambulance. Wow. Ooh. A perfect syllogism. So, syllogism? Syllogism. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. A proof in a three proof parts. A proof in three parts. Exquisite. Simply exquisite. He actually looks like he's going to cry. Trucy, what's going on? Till the police arrived at the scene ten minutes later, I saw no one else. Can you tell us in detail about these ten minutes? in a state of heightened awareness. Anything could happen at any moment. Anyone could appear from any direction. It, is that all? No one And yet no one came. Yeah, no one <laughs> Nothing came. happened at all. 
I saw it all, which is to say, I saw nothing! It was late at night. It's not odd to think there would be few people around in the park. So he just stood there watching. Hmm, not much to go on there. Trucy, if you've got something to say, by all means, say it. Ah, I can't find a single problem with that testimony. Had enough at last, air forehead. No. The defense still has some questions that demand answers, Your Honor. Hmm. Your opinion, Prosecutor Gavin. Uh, obviously I don't want him to do anything, Your Honor. Oh, let him play attorney. Until he's satisfied, I say. I will amuse myself by composing my next smash, uh, forward tilt combo in my head. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll amuse myself with this fish in the meantime. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Radical. Very well. You may continue with the cross-examination. Alright, what we got? Map. Bowl. Panties. Cell phone. It be his... I guess. Like, the watch kind of fits his motif, and it's a similar color to his outfit, but not quite the same. The strap's the same color. See, like, obviously the, the, the issue here is that he was shot, and um, Naruto was clearly using this knife. So... <laughs> It was Naruto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh my god. You flipped this thing upside salt. <laughs> I'm about to. <laughs> I guess there's something we can... There's gotta be something, right? Oh, there was something. Where is it? Just Noodle. Huh? Look at this, huh, Apollo. At this. Mr. Eldoon spelled his name backwards on this side. God, Trucy, you're so fucking stupid! And then she's right and he did. <laughs> it's possible! Um, I think that says Noodle. As in Eldoon's noodles. Huh? Oh, I get it. So the name of his store is the same whether you read it forward or backwards. She, she was like Naruho Do. Naruho Do. Yeah, I guess it would be. Except, well, for the last S. Then how about a store called Team Meat? Team Meat. Team, team the Meat, though? Me Yo, Team the Meat? <laughs> Team the meat. Team the Team meat. meat. Team meat. Is this, is this woman stupider than Maya? About the same, maybe a so, bit more intelligent. Uh, I, I think say. she's clever, but she is still uh, eccentric. She does not perceive the same world that everyone else is. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, she is still. She is a lot like Maya in that naivete and bizarre outlook. How about a store called Team Meat? Uh, close, but that would be, uh, tame meat backwards. And what kind of store is that? Buy a store that sells meat. It's not meat unless it's team meat. Yeah, she did get it wrong. Good thing Apollo's there. That's smart guy. What were we doing? I was looking at the noodle stand. We, we were just kind of going through our evidence. We were like, alright, what, what, what can we crack this open with? What can you extrapolate from this? Uh, I cannot prevent the killer from leaving the scene. Here, let me just do this. Let me just do this. Okay, we're, we're still in this on the testimony then. Okay. Yeah. 
there, like, he couldn't prevent Dalkilla from leaving the scene for sure. Whatever. Sure, this is also fair. Well, ambulance. Okay, okay. Maybe there isn't anything left to unravel in this testimony after all. What the fuck is this? Tommy. Oh, I didn't realize it was new. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's, it's new. Some of us would have glamorous careers glamorous. we'd like to get back to this month, Air Forehead. They don't have enough to put Walkie away yet. Should I back off for now? I guess so. I'm gonna. I guess Trucy's just gonna help me out here. There's nothing fishy about that testimony at all. It appears there are no objections to the witness's current testimony. There are a number of ways to explain the lack of prints on the pistol. I assure you. Perhaps the killer was really wearing gloves, which wiped the previous user's prints off. Then, after the deed was done, this fell out of his pocket, as he was throwing the gun away. That is so unlikely. Like, what? A mistake befitting of a small-time punk, in my opinion. No. No! Did we die? Oh shit, yeah. Cool. It seems we've come to the end of the line here. Oh, that can't be all! How unfortunate. Seems that you were cut out to stand on the same stage as me. Were you, Air Forehead? I believe this brings the cross-examination to a close. This court will now declare a verdict for the defendant, yeah. Waki Kitaki. Yeah! Whoa! Holy shit! It's a magic trick. It's her stand. I'm calling it now as a trick to distract. Well, yeah. Uh, huh? T Trucy? <laughs> Nobody move. Well, what's the meaning of this? Who are you? <laughs> this guy is so drugged up. <laughs> uh, where am I? Whoa. There will be no verdict in this court, not yet. Wait, are you one of the Kitakis? The Kitakis? You mean the notorious gangsters? If you don't want to see me give the pretty little girl a new smile, do as I say. Adjourn the court for 20 minutes. Wh what? This court will not bow to the pressure from the likes of your judge. I see a little point in further aggravating this gentleman. Urk. Hmm. Recess. 20 minutes, or I promise you, you'll regret it. Whoa. Wait, how do you disappear so fast? Come to the defendant lobby, Apollo. I suppose I have no choice but to adjourn for a 20 minute recess. Bailiff! Bailiff catch that mysterious man! And you know what to do after. You know what to do. I think I'm good to stop there for now. Sounds good to me. This case is weird. <laughs> Hopefully it picks up because right now it seems like you're a little cold on it. I'm really cold on it. Uh. I don't have a good way to end this because there's not this this since this is a DS game, there's not like good stopping points.
Because they expect you just to close it. I mean, that's exactly what I'm about to do. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, that's exactly what I'm about to do. I'm just gonna close my DS. Here, I'll leave it here. In the whack is pee pee. <laughs> you just here. Listen, you just you just do a little something like this. You give a little. Oh wow! Wow! How'd that happen? How'd you just, you just give up. That was ama oh, 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 it's amazing. Wow. <laughs> wow, how'd that happen? And here, look, if I reopen it, it'll... The I can't, my hands don't work. <laughs> All right. Okay, no, really, though, I'll... This is not good ending music. There. All right. <laughs> this case is, this case is fucking weird. And Apollo's a dumbass. Yeah, like, in, in, Phoenix kind of just carried the first case entirely. Well, Phoenix was a lot like Apollo was here, but like, I really, really, I loved Edgeworth right away. Like Edgeworth was this incredible mix of actually good at his job and like, Human. There was a humility to Edgeworth. The clowning of Edgeworth is what the game is. What the first Phoenix Wright game subtitle should be. Uh, and it was like such this incredible breakdown of like he's this best, and then it's like no, he's he's good, but he's he's a fucking person. He's not a he's not a horrible caricature. Um, and the cases were also pretty strong without being like too overbearing. Uh, this case has a really, really weird start. It has like three threads that it starts with. I like Apollo and I like Trucy fine. You know, Emma shows up and Emma's good. Uh, but like, for whatever reason, I have not been hooked on this case. And I think it's because it didn't give me the right amount of time to invest in it. And even in this trial so far, it's not doing a good job because everyone I'm talking to is just fucking annoying. And now it ends on Trucy doing a weird magic trick to like give us more time. And you have and we're like about to enter a fail state, and it's like that's just a little weird, you know? Uh it's not out of question. Like there were numerous, numerous times in the other Phoenix Wright games where Phoenix was at the end of his rope and then Maya or or uh Mia would show up to 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 help out. So this is a lot like that, but still a little strange. Like, why why Trucy couldn't just say something then and there, I don't know. Um, but hopefully it picks up. You know, hopefully, moving into the later parts of this, it'll be pretty good and that the other investigations are not going to be as bloated. Um, though it sounds like the third one's going to be pretty pretty rough if, if it's considered bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like, a, a couple of people in chat, I think, mentioned that the, the first and fourth case of this game are really, really good. Is, is uh, it a 4 case game? I think it's a 4 case game. I imagine it is. Okay. Uh, trial, Trials and Tribulations got to be special. Here's how many cases there are in, the, in like, 5 and 6, since there's so many playable characters. Right. I, wonder, I wonder if it's, like, everyone handles a different section, but I also know that in, like, 6, characters are, like, elsewhere in the world dealing with other stuff. I don't fucking know. Anyway... We'll be back sometime soon to uh, hopefully clean up this trial and be a little more engaged. I feel a little bad not being like a hundred percent on it, but hey, if the game's not hooking me, then it's not hooking me. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll probably be back Sunday. What's today? Friday. Yes. Yeah. 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 We'll probably do like every other day. And try and get in like, I, I like these four-hour streams. If it, if it works out, if I was more engaged, I might consider going longer. But you gotta take breaks. Uh, like I, I was checked out halfway through this, so I I definitely need to stop now. So anyway, we'll see you all next time. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, God, I miss Maya. God, I miss Maya. And Emma is fine too. All right, later, guys. <laughs>